Okay, this meeting is being live streamed onto YouTube. If you don't want yourself to be on a live video, then um, you'll have to let us, if it's actually too late right now, <laughs> then uh, remove, your, remove yourself from the meeting because this is going to be streamed on YouTube. Um, oh, mute, mute you, uh, I'll take your video off. Yeah. Um, if you just want to watch. Yeah, if you just want to watch, turn your video off. Um, because this is going to be part of our uh, YouTube video collection of healing. Um, my name is Deb Purcell. This is my husband, Rick, and we are healers. Uh, my husband's energy and creator's energy merged. He receives, uh, I receive downloads after my husband scans you or your pet. And I have the ability of seeing inside the body as the healing is happening. Um, we are able to see past lives and um, we're able to, I just went blank again. <laughs> What's wrong with me? <laughs> Go ahead, Rick. Right. <laughs> Go ahead, Phil. Right, this is ahead. our partner in crime, Phil. He's also a healer. We've been doing this for about five years. Five years, two years. Six. We've been doing this oh, for five years. Oh, we have, yes. Oh, my God, you're as bad as me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a bit of laughter. Enjoy it. Enjoy the energy. Yeah, I've been a healer for 51, 52 years now. Started as a very youngster. Thought everyone could do it, and uh, I've enjoyed the ride. Uh, got credited 20 years ago, uh, and I like to connect, merge with aspects, ancient aspects of my own soul, which uh, gives me knowledge. And I lo love the knowledge that you can, you can get. And uh, this week has been no exception. It's been a very strange week. So, uh, yeah, I've just had a walk and I did a judo. Uh, I helped a judo competition this morning. So it's always worth doing lots of things. I even refereed. <laughs> so it's a bit weird day today. But, yeah, uh, we'll do healing with anyone and I'll sat to the animals. And obviously, uh, we're not going to do it next month. So we're having a break. Yeah, okay. next month is um, <clears throat> we're off for the month of July. We're taking a break. Um, we have a family emergency my granddaughter's coming here my great granddaughter so we're going to spend the time with her um but august will be back but we do two two events um during the month of free healing events one in the northern hemisphere one in the southern and then we do a pet healing so <coughs> excuse me uh let us begin lily okay the first one is victoria can bobby and i get a scan thank you baby come here all right Oh God, baby. Sorry, he ran and I tried to stop him. Okay, are you coming back? No? I'll give you a picture. No, wait, you're coming back. Okay, here's baby. Hey, stay. Hey. It's okay, baby. Bobby. 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 Look at Auntie, Auntie Debbie. Bobby, look, look at Auntie Debbie. Um, I'll give you a picture. He's... That's all right. We've, we've scanned him so many times. We know, we know him so well. Baby. Uh, has he been choking again? Yeah. He's got the thing again. I realize how they're doing it now. It's hanging out on my ceiling, this trap, waiting for him to come by and then he gets snared. Because I see it when, when, when it does happen. That's what I noticed the last time. This one is different in color. It's red and it's glowing. Why is it different, Phil? What, what what is what makes I don't understand this. Uh, what can you see? I, I, I didn't plan. This one, this one is. They may have put a um, an entity energy into this one. You can bound. Um, uh, hold on, hold on, Victoria. I see eyes now. Um, yeah. when I try to remove it. There's an entity in it. <clears throat> what did you say? What have we done? <laughs> I don't like to say too much on here because a lot of people won't believe it. That, that's half the problem uh, when you're talking about ships and stuff like that. But I'm just took one down. It's uh, like a a new sort of style, if you get what I mean, where they, they mix in a parasite and 
I don't want to say too much because I won't. I can I can see that. Mm-hmm. But I've actually I've actually seen its destination and I saw it. I did saw it. A friend of mine saw it. Can you see it now, Deb? No, but I I, I know where it was coming from. It was All right. No, it was a ship actually. It's the same place, but we. Uh, got okay. a card for Bobby, by the way. <laughs> sure. <laughs> I've lost the cards. I found them again. So. You, is it a different deck this time? No, I'm using the same one. Oh, gosh, I'm going to get the uh, same cards all over, over again. I'm getting over last night, so, and this morning and this afternoon. Okay, stop, please. Funny enough, when you've had night time, you get an extra blessing of the angels. So that's good. That's been done. Thank you so much. All right. This was next, correct? The next one is Janine. Yeah. This is the email picture of the kitty that she sent. Is it is her it's her name baby too? Yes, baby. Do you see a tracking device on this kitty also? I I, I see is it a she? I don't know. It's a female, it's a calico, yeah, so they're she, all they're all female. She's getting drained, energy drained. She's um she's got something in her um left front paw. She twitches a lot. She's she's got some kind of implant. It's like something's touching her and it will be at her back. And of course she's blind, so she's a little spastic anyway, but it's like something irritates her and I can watch her and it'll just she'll be flipping around trying to get it and it'll just stay behind her and, and continue on for long periods. So distressing. They're actually tormenting her. Mother Mary's here. Mother Mary's using her energy on her. Yeah, I'm trying to build up her, build up her energy field because she's got very, very, she seems to be quite weak on her energy. The one I'm using is prana energy, which is like chi energy or soul energy. Mm. And I'm removing. How, how long has she been blind? Like this? Is she, yeah. she, we took her to the vet uh, Monday. She got a she was just started tinkling everywhere, not her litter box, but all around and weird corners. She kept coming to my room. And so we thought she's real disoriented. So we thought she might have a UTI and the vet said she does and gave her antibiotic, but I see her uh, still stressed by. Yeah. How long has, how long has she been blind? Oh, blah, blah, blah. I'm sorry. Um, yeah. I think we think she was thrown out of a car in front of my niece's right. house and because um, right. her nose is all bashed and we have to give her nose drops and yeah. both her eyes are shot out. So <clears throat> and we fed her. She was just tiny when we got her. Yes, it's not easy to connect with because our eyes are the easiest way to connect to someone. But uh, I've connected. So. Yeah, I tried to have her in here, but she's my sister's home today, so she's not leaving her. And the birds have been acting weird. I... You think they could be getting at you, getting at the cat? That's that's what I would be thinking. Who's who's putting the implant in? Do we know? I haven't removed it yet. Feels like she's got quite a bad back. <laughs> what did you say? She feels like she's got a bad back. So that's by going you know, bad connecting, back. I'm getting a bad back. Bad back. Mm-hmm. Yeah. She- you guys worked on her some months ago, Deb, remember? And she started gaining weight. Her fur got pretty. And now she's like skinny and bony again. And of course, her diet rot still because after bottle feeding her, she wouldn't only eat ham and cheap hot dogs. And she will not have anything else. Cheap hot dogs? <clears throat> yeah, like <laughs> she's really weird. She- we always have cat food down, but she will not have it. What kind of cat? What kind of cat food? Uh, uh, Formula One. Uh, right now, it's down for her. A li- you know, it's little, little. But my sister gets concerned when she doesn't eat, and she just is it. If it's got chicken in it, it's probably why. Oh, okay. Yeah, the the implants are from from her uh, in a. I, I'd say is your house needs a bit of work doing as well. <laughs> a lot of work here. <clears throat> yeah, the birds are uh, upsetting everyone, not just me, but I'm nearest to them. Which doesn't help. 
I got a well, the birds, the, the birds are, the birds can see what's going on. They can see negative energies. They can see positive energies. They're very happy when it's positive. They can see angels, archangels. They can see the fairies. They, um, they can see angelics. I mean, they, they're very happy when they're around, when they see the negative beings, they're very, very upset and they're going to let you know. Yeah. I've done healing on your cat. Uh, the actual implant's not there now, and it's from underneath. But I, I think we need, uh, after we've done the animals, I would say we could do it work on your stuff. And your own, definitely your own. Where's your cat now? At your sister's or in your house? Um, yeah, she's probably in her lap. Well, I can try and get her, bring her here. Uh, trying to kind of, trying to, I was doing some work on your house, and I was getting very hot, very hot. Yeah, it's def definitely the house in inside and outside. I know from someone who uh, worked with me, we have some Indian problems, ancestors that used to be on this. And I've made a, a token gesture and took it to a special Indian tree that they make special to know where the land is. I thought everything. Um, we have the ancestors around us and they said it is not, it's okay. You're okay with the, with the natives. It's there's a lot of sacred land there. There's a lot. Um, it has nothing to do with that. This is more of um, targeting you. <laughs> you know that anyway. You get oh. your pets to get you. Yeah, gotcha. This is something totally different. Yeah. Well, I will continue to watch the other animals get their love. <laughs> Do you want a cat? Do you want a card for your cat? So happy I'm gonna cry. Yes, a card. I have given me like a lot of life force, it's got a chi energy, so hopefully mm -hmm. I don't do that very often. But I'm not sure if you've heard of this angel before. Archangel Michael. <laughs> Big guy. Bill's <Yeah>. favorite. <laughs> he's, he's making his presence shown to you. A symbol of courage. That's what it is. Courage. Yeah. Daphne, did you have anything? I'm sorry, I forgot to ask you. Is she you Mute. She's still muted. You're you're muted. Can you hear me now? Yes. <laughs> okay. I got that there might be something irritating her stomach on the back side, uh, right near just before the leg, the hind leg. Um, other than that, uh, yeah, just a very kind of messed up uh, stomach needs just some good energy. Yeah, Mary is um really compassionate uh, towards the animals and um many she's the ones that are suffering today especially the ones in ukraine mm -hmm. um and that are abandoned or some of them that are really sick like she she's already made the announcement that the cords are being cut the ones that are um close to uh their time the cords are cut so that they're not suffering at all before right. so, so there's wonderful. no suffering on any animals now they're cutting the cords so that they have a very easy transition. All right. And they come back. Yes. And they do reincarnate, reincarnate very quickly. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, the next one. Yeah, next no, one. one sec. Before, if you can get, uh, uh, have a look at your cat before we start on you to see if he's going to change. Hold on. Yeah. 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 Sorry, everybody. Go ahead. I'm sorry. All right. So, Lily, it's okay. Go ahead. Okay. The next one is for me to be me. Oh, it's Bonnie. Hi there. Bonnie, you have to show yourself and talk. Oh, I'm sorry. Hi there. Uh, Hi. Um, well, I have two older animals. Um, one is my dog, Duke. He wants a transition. But this is the first one that I've not been able to assist. Okay. And I don't know why. Okay. I had um, someone come and stay with me for a week. We both tried and it, it didn't work. We, we tried everything. I, I tried frequencies. I tried um, um, assisting through, you know, uh, parasitical removal with frequencies I've tried changing, you know, uh, um, his diet to, you know, kind of like uh, doing raw vegetables that he would eat because he loves raw vegetables and fruits. 
and just trying to talk to them. Um, I used to be able to, to hold them and easily transition. He won't let me. Okay. Uh, where is he? Um, he's actually in the other in I'm in my bedroom and he's in the bathroom laying down. Okay. Do you want me to walk over there? Yeah, so we need to see him. Yeah. Now the cat, I won't be able to do that with because he knows I'm trying to heal him and he disappears under the, the house. So do you have a, well, um, we can do a photo with, uh, if you have a photo, that's fine. Oh, hold on just a second. Hi Duke. Hi Duke. How old is he? Um, oh, oh, here baby. No, no, no baby. It's okay. Here, baby. Hey, it's okay, honey. It's okay. It's okay. Um, we he's a, a, a rescue. Um, I want to say it was 2009. Yeah. Uh-huh. He does not look that old. Mm-mm. No. I keep telling them don't tell him how old he is because he's got he's very young in his spirit, but his body is deteriorating fast. <laughs> And when I had um, it and it happened, he, he's, he'll get very anxious. He's been, um, I had him as a uh, trained uh, as a service animal, not for myself because he just loves, loves everybody and animals and stuff. However, yeah. since our move four years ago, these last two years have been horrific. And now that um, he's starting to get aggressive, which is un- very unusual, very unusual. He just wants to play for the most part. Um, Bonnie, however, he's not ready to go yet. Well, I'm glad to hear that, actually, because I was getting mixed signals. He's not ready to go yet. When he's ready to go, they let you know, but he really isn't ready to go yet. He's, um, yeah, that's, he's so young, but I'm getting mixed signals, and I, I can't be objective, I guess. Yeah, you're, uh, you're, emotion- you're, you're so emotionally involved. <laughs> What are you getting, Phil? Ad, and yeah, I'm, I'm, I agree. It's not ready to go. I was going to say I could even slow the aging process if you, if you wanted to. But what's that, what illnesses has he got? Does he look, feel so it's, well? Um, uh, tumors. But when I was feeling them, it, they were more benign and just yeah, you know, not anything other than that. Um, what concerned me really was um, I can't take him to a vet because he gets really anxious. Yeah. I uh, well, I think, I think all animals do that. <laughs> yeah, all animals do. And yeah, I, I've had mostly because mostly I'll, I'll tell you why. Mostly because the toxins they put in their body, they feel different. Yeah. Uh, that's why, you know, I, I've in my circumstances, I went from I went to zero for resource wise. So when I got to help the last time, it was to help clip his nails. And because of her fear, she double injected him with Twilight. So um, it took me about, he almost died because he choked on his own vomit. And I got that cleared out. And then ever since then now, um, I have a very difficult time with anybody else other than a, uh, other than this type of treatment because I just can't. And I don't care about my emotions. It's being strong for him. Listen, I, just got, strong. I just got this on Amazon and it's for doing your nails. And it comes with all these drills. It was a little like 12, $10, $12. And it has all these little parts to it that you can file your nails. It, I it, have one. He can. He will not tolerate anything with noise. So even if I can just click, because I have clipped him myself once I've gotten him to settle for me, but I can only usually get through like one paw. I know, baby. Yeah, I'm getting help. And I'm glad it's being <laughs> recorded so I can go back and watch it again. <laughs> yeah. If you get get somebody, like they have those sleeves that you can hang them up and you just let, let them relax. I don't know how the... They were, I, I know what you're talking about. I call it, it's a sling or something like that. Yeah, it's a sling. And I, I was actually going to fabricate one myself. Yeah. Because, because I, I went and got a brace where I can just hold them because yes. it made it easier, but I'm all, I only got two arms. However, I do have someone that may be able to help me, but he also has like a, started out to be a skin tag and I was going to fix it because it was really small. And unfortunately, I had everybody jump on me for trying to do that by myself. And now it, it escalated to a bigger issue. Um, I did reach out to someone at the SPCA 
to see if I can get some help, you know, and even if it means, um, cause before I could give them a little bit of Benadryl before going to the vet and it wouldn't be so bad. Me, I, I have to smoke CBD so I don't get anxious because then it doubles the problem or escalates the problem between us. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> Nellie's trying to wipe my it's a, it's okay that l- just let that be I mean just you know if we have a we have a cat with a tumor underneath his chin and we just it, it's not bothering him it's not bothering us we just ignore it yeah I do too that's why I got this one because I'm all in the gravel and I don't want it to get broken open or anything so I had a full breast one but it really agitated him more yeah. than you know that so then i just got this one so that it'll tuck in there but in that when he rolls i don't know if it was because of my intention but it does it'll tuck right in there and when he of course when i give him a bath and put neem oil on him so the you know it avoids the ticks and helps with his skin but he's white so that's when he rolls <laughs> okay but well, he's a very loving gentle spirit He's a beautiful dog. He's a yeah. He doesn't. Dog. He doesn't know how old he is, so that's why I just really don't even do the age thing because I don't the, believe in that the, anyway. The age is like a program, and so yeah, that's you, you, as long as you don't go into that program, you can slow it down or anything. Yeah. I do think yeah. that, but it, it feels your anxiety a lot, and she's trying to take it off you, but trying to heal you. Mm. Yeah, yeah. And he's walking around and walking sideways. And mm. walking into things, and I, uh, you know, uh, it's even harder actually outside than it is inside because he'll get something and want to take off. <laughs> and I, I attract animals of all kinds, deer and the rabbit, you know, oh, wild, but um, that part, he just wants to play with them, but it scares, you know, the others. Yeah. And the neighbor's yeah. dogs too. So, okay. Uh, nope. just doing just doing healing on him thank you uh, oh you don't you normally like being on camera he's been a tiger he's been an eagle he's been a rabbit he's been smaller spirit <laughs> so, he's been a giraffe <laughs> yeah, really? yes he's been a blue jay and he's been a dog a couple of other times and a cat <sighs> See how relaxed he is now. You see how he's gone more relaxed. Mm-hmm. His anxiety, the anxiety you give him, by accident, it, it makes him anxiety, anxiety. He's had healing in the circulatory system, his heart, his spine, his stomach, his urinary tract, and some arthritis, his teeth and gums. I know. He, he's quite healthy, actually. Yes. Oh, and his eyes. Yeah. That's I appreciate you have a Do you have a photo of your cat? Can I, just um, say, can I just say one thing that I've been just told? Remember, you thought he was he's transitioning. You're trying to manifest that without knowing you're manifesting it. Don't oh. take, take, take that out of the way. Just take it out because whatever you think of, you're creating that world. Say no more, fella. Yeah. He is not ready. You, he came here for you. Yeah, I know definitely. he's specifically he's here for you. He's my protector. Yep, he is there for you. He unconditionally there for you. He's not leaving. He's not ready. You're not ready for him to leave, and he's not ready for you to 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 let him go. So exactly, he's your boy. <laughs> Just, In more ways than one. Yeah, he loves you very much. Um, I would. Uh, I might be able to quickly find a. Do you want a yeah, card photo? first? You However, card if you first? guys want to go on to somebody else and come back. Yeah, Pardon? do you want a card first? No, that's fine. Yeah, take take a card for your boy. <laughs> Just say tell, stop. Him when, tell him when to stop. I'll pick a card for the boy. Well, Duke, I have all boys. I, I <laughs> All boys, all the time. Come here, you. Tell tell Phil when to stop. Oh, I'll be, Phil, shuff, uh, I'll be shuffling all night. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think she heard you. <laughs> Oh, I'm oh. sorry. You you can stop. I'm sorry. I didn't realize that's what you were waiting on. <laughs> there you go. Right. It's self-acceptance. That could be more to do with you, actually. Uh, 
Yeah, I was beginning to think that when you guys were doing that, the anxiety was removed from me. Yeah. And thoughts as well as him. But I was laughing because when I was trying to get up, he put his head right in my butt. (laughs) (laughs) And I laughed because that's what I tease the animals about. Give kisses, not butt bumps. Mm -hmm. But... (laughs) Well, well, that card basically means is you're too difficult for yourself. Start loving yourself. Stop being serious. Stop creating negative thoughts. In other words, manifesting. You know, your your what it is. Everyone doesn't want their pets to go, and that's the worry. And you're creating the anxiety and the worry, and it, it can start manifesting into reality. So you just mm-hmm. got to let let it go. Okay. Mm. I'm getting Duke really would like you to take him for a walk where there's flower beds and possibly um, butterflies. <laughs> oh yeah, there's a lot of butterflies here. Mm-hmm. I'm, he loves the butterflies. Oh yeah, and I have um, butterflies and uh, um, dragonflies. Mm-hmm. And yesterday, one came right into my face when I was talking to a friend. And I had to laugh. Okay, um, I can send the the photo while we were. Well, I thought I was able to. You can share the screen. Um, See the share screen at the bottom. Yeah. So you bring the photo up in another. There you go. You have one with her face showing her her eyes. We need her eyes just for the energy. Um, No, but that it's it's the on that left side that is showing that's the two issues it's the left eye and the left ear the ones that are showing but i i could try um it, it okay um, i've had i've had issues with uh my technology that's the only one and i don't know that i'd be able to get outside to get one while you guys are working on others i could try i don't know where he's at every time he sees me right now he uh disappears on me he doesn't like doesn't anxiety. A, he doesn't have a special treat that that you can shake or anything that he'll come yeah i don't i don't do treats or anything like that with any really of the animals okay um it, it might be anxiety by the way you, you might be okay now huh cat cats have good senses don't, don't they? well i'll tell you all three of the cat because another one um, I did, we rescued like three sets, different sets in the last two months of cats. And the, the other one, he, baby Zimba just walked in the house and like a baby lion. And between the three of them, they've really been extremely protective, very protective of me right now. So, um, but baby dumpling, uh, I'm sorry. I really wish I could be, I didn't know you know, about how this all worked. Silly of me, but it's I okay. should have known. But I think you already figured out why it's my anxiety. Wish I had a because something bit the cat in the eye and I've been uh, when I um it was either a bite or he got um oh the fiberglass insulation. I'm not really sure. And I I've been flushing it out and I put a, uh, just a drop of um a, a sweet oil in it to try and help the eye itself. Um, and when I seen them today, cause it just happened yesterday uh, with the ear, it, it, his eye looked really weird. So I was trying, I wanted to put like an ice pack or something on it, but as soon as he saw me, cause now he won't even come into the house to eat. Cause I've been, you know, trying to just, and sometimes with baby dumpling, because he's notorious for having um, abscesses. So I'm try I try to be really careful with him, but I uh, do a regimen with uh, the animals to get rid of parasites and stuff like that. Um, he he's already caught on to me that I was going to try and help him again. So I like what you guys are doing. I, I've even tried just sending energy and and trying to feel. I used to be extremely connected to figuring things out, but yeah, I'm sorry. I can't find another, That's all right. another picture. Everyone is a healer. If you focus on sending healing energy to your, to your pet, it, it picture 
picture the emerald green, which is healing energy, going to the area. But only do it if you're in a good vibration. Yes. Yes. Oh, I've learned but that my yeah, with cooking is when I learned that one actually. <laughs> You have to put yourself in a very good state of being because otherwise all you're doing is putting it in back into your system or their system, which yeah. doesn't help. So, so do, you know, center yourself and connect with your higher self and then send healing. Well, I suggest it, when you feel anxiety, why don't you go for a nice grounding walk, connect to nature? That's what I'm getting. I have an uh, elder he's here that I go to and uh, yeah. I brought Duke to sit with me in in the roots because it's the way the roots are i call it my earth dragons we just sit in them and uh for the most part he does really well uh baby dumpling i can't get him to sit still long enough but again if i sit in it i feel like i'm in being hugged by the elders and the ancients and then i can do it that way um We've got a lot of bugs here, <laughs> so I've been trying to spray the ground with some neem oil so we can at least sit. Are you getting anything about um, chemicals, maybe contact and getting in contact with his eye? I'm sorry, can you repeat that? Uh, I'm getting something about perhaps he um, came in contact with chem some kind of chemical that was on a plant or a board or something that uh, came in contact with his eye. Uh, that doesn't surprise me because the I, I rent this property, so I try to do mine with natural spray. Um, when the landscaping company came, for whatever reason, they know that I don't like them doing the, the they use some, I can't remember what the name of it is, but it's toxic. They, mm -hmm. they sprayed around the trailer right. and they're, they're not supposed to do that. And I have albino frog. I have other critters under the home, albino frogs and stuff. But I don't like it regardless. But I, I'm thinking it was either the fiberglass or a chemical that they sprayed. Yeah. Do you know how to use an eye wash? Yes, I've been using a. Well, I've been using a saline eye wash. Um, he, yeah. And again, he really doesn't like that. But I'll do the saline, and then I would wait about ten minutes so it could do its job and let it because it was flushing out the pus. Mm -hmm. Then I put the little sweet oil in it, but now he won't. I'm going to have to keep him in the house, which he don't like, but um, sometimes I'll just wrap them like in a towel to get them to just calm down and relax a little bit. Mm -hmm. But now when I seen the hematoma yesterday, um, uh, that's what I was really focusing on to try and bring down the swelling, but he won't let me near him. So yeah, that's after, why I, after it's had you've had a few heavy rainfalls, the chemicals won't be, you know, um, a worry to the pets anymore. OK, I used to put up um, treated wood for roofing and tons of chemicals in them. And I would actually tell the owners to keep the pets inside for uh, a week or so until a couple of heavy rainfalls to wash all the chemicals down. Right. Yeah, we've had serious storms here. That's why I waited to mow the grass and then treat it with the neem oil. Uh, I've only gotten to the front yard so far, but um, I, I, I'm grateful that you're saying this. I, I think that the hematoma occurred because I was, I must, I'm assuming they were mites in his ears. So I was putting the neem oil inside his ears as well. But he was shaking so much is what caused the hematoma to happen. And I, I've uh, and because all of the animals in the in the area have it, I've been able to do it with mine. But the others I, I wasn't able to because there's an elder. All the neighbors animals come over here and they congregate and they just kind of lay around. You know what I mean? Which is fine. OK, can you stop sharing now? Thank you. Yeah. What I'm getting, you, you've got to get rid of this anxiety. So the work really is not to, to do work on your pets, it's to work on yourself. And the card I picked is music, so frequency to try and do the anxiety. I'd say a high vibration, probably 900 hertz. And you could also create a crystal grid out of uh, amethyst to clear your mind. Sounds like you need your mind clearing. 
I'm not sure if it's a past life because I'm got. Did you get anything with that, Deb? No, nothing more. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome. Oh, what happened to my chat here? Lily, you're ready. Okay. The next one is Tonya. Um, this is the uh, hi, my name is Telis, and I'm Tonya's friend. And uh, this is Tonya's cat. Her name is Emma. Um, well, I will translate for Toma for um, for Tonya. Um, Emma has a, a lymphoma and also a sarcoma. She's being diagnosed, um, and Tonya is not sure if she will need an operation or not, or if she should go ahead and make her have the operation or not. Um, and if it's if you feel or you can sense that if that's okay that um, Emma can still um, having the alternative and uh, kind of holistic therapies and energy therapies because she doesn't know if continue like that um, even though she she thinks that the uh, sarcoma is going down, but doctors keep suggesting that she needs an operation, so she has that thought about that. Okay. We can't. We can. Can you? There you go. Am I from 2012? Yeah. All right. Can you explain to me again? Because I was so busy trying to get my technology to work because I wasn't picking up. The, the picture of her. They, they want to do surgery on her for what? Um, yes. um, they found a sarcoma um, on her back. And a sarcoma on her back, right? What's and a sarcoma? Also, what is a sarcoma? Um, it's, it's, called, okay. it's like cancer. So she has oh, cancer. cancer. Yeah. Is it a tumor? Yeah, exactly. That's a tumor. A tumor on her back and also another tumor um, underneath her heart. On her heart? Yes, yeah. underneath her heart. Underneath her heart. Yeah. Why am I not seeing this? Oh, really? I see something about her stomach. I do not see any tumors. Taking uh, Did they show you pictures? Yeah, yeah. And you saw tumors in her heart, by her heart, not her back? By the biopsy. Phil, do you see this? The only thing I could say is it's still your choice because I, I've got insurance, spirit healing insurance, and I, I'm not a doctor, but she doesn't have to look for your fine to me. It's your choice. Mm -hmm. What do you think? Uh, I, saw, I saw I saw a lump her. I saw a lump in the in the stomach and um I've healed that. What what did you see, Phil? I, I put uh, an healing energy to clear like a clearance. I've also changed the uh, tried to change the metabolism to be a bit more alkaline. Yeah, uh, just in case and. Uh, I've told the brain about a problem. Okay. To try and work on herself. Put energy inside the torso. Mm -hmm. She's beautiful. Mm -hmm. Yeah. She looked like our Sammy. Mm -hmm. You can let her. You can let her down. It's okay. You're welcome. Um, if. If you think or you can sense that Emma should continue with uh, energy healing, uh, light, uh, chakra healing uh, therapies, and um, yeah. she's maybe to yeah. wait. Uh, her, yeah, um, she's got energy that's going to be with her for seven days, and then it'll just absorb in her body the healing. So. Oh, that's amazing. That, that's good to hear. That's yeah. that's what you've been working on with Emma. She's been working on those. You're welcome. Oh, thank you so much. That that's amazing. Thank you so much. We really yeah. appreciate it. There's one just one thing I wanted to say. That when a when a doctor or a surgeon actually says this is what they got, sometimes the person starts creating it as well because they think it's got that and it makes it worse. So no fear, no 
anger, no temper, just just high vibration. Send mm. when you feed your cat, send love energy into the cat food. Okay. You're more you are more powerful. You go in your heart, go into your heart and send love to your animals because you are more powerful than what any human being says. You are connected to God. Through him, you you have energy to heal your animals. Yes. They love you. You're connected to that animal. Speak it into reality. Thank you so much. That's something that I told her as well, but she didn't believe in herself. So much. I know that helped. And, and, you're, and that, that cat loves you very, 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 very much. You're a cat, by the way. Yes, please. Huh? Just, just say stop. Yeah. You said stop. No, stop. Mm. Uh, forgiveness. Mm. Well, that... Well, that means you may feel basically your emotions in this sort of thing might not help. So you've got to be a bit stronger. Yeah, be strong for your cat. Your cat can feel the upset and all that. And it, it just makes it worse. You've just got to be strong and loving. It's the only thing you can do. So forgiveness is forgiving yourself for being given these emotions. You've got to be <laughs> loving to the yeah, you've got to change your mindset a little bit. Thank you. Thank you so much. That's 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 you're doing amazing work. Keep keep that keep lighting up to the world. Thank you. Daphne, have you got anything by the way? Um well, I'm getting that what we did today, you know, I didn't see any like big cancerous problems, but I see that what we did today has taken care of this entire situation and yeah I don't believe that the vet was totally right and just like a mechanic troubleshoots a car you know they're they're not always perfect they're doing their best and what they do right so trust your heart and right now just put it out your cat is fine right and your cat is fine and you're so happy what a healthy beautiful cat you have thanks thanks a lot Lily? Oh, the next one is Jackie. Okay, guys, I have to find it's about okay. Chopper. And I know where he is. He's just right over here. But it's about after he's had these seizures, now he will rest and sleep. And then he suddenly wakes up and looks around, kind of. And then he'll go back to sleep, sleep for 20 minutes, raise up, look around, kind of startled, and then go back to sleep and do the same thing all over again. And I don't know what that is. And of course, the ear is still, the ear is still the ear. And in the eyes. Okay, let's see. Okay, getting near. No, not getting near. I need to go over there, Father. <laughs> he's already said, he's already said, hi. <laughs> there. <laughs> there, 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 there. But you're getting a side eye. You're not getting a full eye. Oh, ta-ta. You know, Nada? No, I don't. Okay. Phil, do you? Yes. Yeah. Need to see him? I've just seen him. I've seen him a lot of times before. Yeah. A few times. You've seen him Same. a lot of times. Yeah. Right. Same here. Just tip the top of the laptop down. There you go. There you go. Oh. Yes. Hi, buddy. Say hi, Auntie Dad. I'll see <laughs> you Friday. Exactly. And he just has anything to communicate about pain or anything. I'm always interested in that. No pain. Oh. <laughs> there goes. <laughs> I, I Linus. I Linus his butt. <laughs> oh no! Probably need to turn the camera. Here we go. Linus, goodness, modesty. Hi again, Linus. Hi, <laughs> hi, Linus his butt. <laughs> Oh, goodness. I like, I like that, Dad. <laughs> yeah, I think he's actually got his spirits going out of his body. That's what the seizures are, and that's why he wakes up and drinks where I'm at. I think it's a bit like astro travel. Say that again? I think he's going an out-of-body experience. In and out of his body. seizure is to do with that. When he wakes yeah. up, he wonders where he is. That doesn't surprise that. me. All right, I'm going to bring you back up here because I want to hear. Okay, he's going in and out of his body because of the seizure? Or... No, the seizure no. is parking his spirit back he, He's astral <laughs> traveling. 
Yeah. Oh, chopper. Good grief. Okay. <laughs> so he, he's going out of body and he's doing this shit, you know, seizure sort of thing. Well, we're not having seizures anymore. He just acts startled, yeah. I, I guess, when he comes back, you know, like, <laughs> why am I here? Where am I? Yeah, oh, God, I'm here again. <laughs> yeah, I'm back in this body again. Rough landings. Oh, maybe. <laughs> maybe. <laughs> Yeah, he's having some nice travels. Okay, go to the beach, buddy. Yeah, that's. I wasn't getting any negative at all to it. Okay. The I, think he's, I think he's really surprised. This, his ear is definitely allergies, um, and it's again <clears throat> this time of year. It's this time of year. You need to move to Arizona, <laughs> <laughs> don't we? Though. <laughs> it's the oh, oh oh you got to join him in his astro. I could do that. I could do that. He may, it may be something he likes to do all by himself. You know, you never know. You never know. Um, is that ear still perforated? Can you tell? The left ear, right ear, the right ear, is it still perforated? It's got so much fluid in there. It's hard to tell. I'm getting it still repairing. It's what I mean. It's it what? Repair. It's still repairing. It's still in repair mode. Repair mode. But it still, it still needs more. That limits what I can put in his ear. I, you know, we can't put quite so much liquid in there. As, as I don't. I, I don't think it has an opportunity to get better. It, it's he gets better in winter when it's drier. A and little. The, yeah, and then by the time it's getting to a point where it's getting it turn it's turning a corner. It the humidity's back and it's you know he's it's just it starts all over again. Okay. It's definitely the weather there. Let's just change Alabama's weather then. We can fix that. I get. Fix. I get. If I did it, I get so well. It can <laughs> be done. It can actually be. Fix, Phil, fix it if you want to. We could do, you know, lower our humidity a little bit. A lot. What do you mean? The 80, 90, 100% humidity? Ugh. At least 70. We would be so grateful. Do, do you know, we, I, now and again, we have a friend, we go in a park and have singing bowls. And everyone was saying, oh, it's 96% rain tomorrow. I said, no, it won't. And it stopped raining half an hour before. During, it was sunny, actually sunny. And then as soon as we got in the car, it started raining again. <laughs> yeah, so you can do it it's quite easily. But uh, You can do it. I need to. A lot, a, lot can, a lot of people can do it. You just got to connect. Around my perimeter, I want to lower the humidity. Start small. <laughs> okay. Okay, so no complaints from Chopper. He's astro traveling. He's startling when he wakes up and he figures out he's back in his body. The ear is in the best we can do with it. The food is the best we can do with that. So we're just trucking along. Status quo. And say stop. Stop. Yeah. And what you need to do, you need to not worry about and but enjoy yourself in nature. Really. Nature. Yeah. Okay, I actually good. thought it'd be that one. You thought it would be that he, yeah. goes, he goes out all the time. I don't. It's too darn hot. You need to go out. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. And enjoy it. Let him go out. Alabama summers, you tolerate, and then you get to fall, and then you enjoy it. <laughs> this is the way it is. I'll try to bring you some Georgia peaches. Clanton peaches are in now. They're having their festival this weekend, and you will go through Clanton. But okay. Either way. I, I love peaches. Mm. I'll get some just in case, in case you don't. Love them, love them. They're good. The clear seats have just come in. Okay, so I think we're through with Cha Cha, and he has his card, and Linus's butt looked good, so we're all good. Okay. I'll see you soon. I can't wait. wait. Me either. Okay, bye, guys. Bye. All righty, Lily. I think the next one is Daphne. You request for by this guy? Okay. But if there's any more pets, you want to do the pets first. That's okay. Okay, then we go to David would like to talk. Oh, so we have no more pets? I have, I still have a pet. I, I have, and Diane, Diane. Mm. Diane. Diane, yeah. Okay, Diane. Hi, Hi Diane. Hi there, how are you? Good. I'm trying to get Rax to stay still here if I can just move it over. He's a, a little bit squeaky today and a bit cheeky, so I'll just try and turn the camera around. Oh, 
Let's Come see. here. Looks like a baby. Mm -hmm. Now it's an old boy. Look, Joe. A pirate. Oh, maybe he is. His name? Is that a boy or girl? Diane? Diane. Hmm. You going to get the whole box? You get information? I think it's a boy. It's okay, Diane. Diane? Diane? I don't think she knows that. I think she needs to put her headset back on. It's okay. It's okay. Can you hear us, Diane? There you go. <laughs> it's all right. We, we got enough. Is that a puppy? Uh, no, no. He's um, 14. He was 14 yeah. on Tuesday. Yeah, that's what uh, I thought. He behaves like a puppy. Um, yeah. So, sorry, my mic wasn't working. I didn't realize it. Um, so, yeah, you guys gave him a lovely healing before Christmas when he was quite unwell. Uh, the vet had thought that he had a tumour and he was having some nosebleeds and things. But um, he's been absolutely great since she since healed him. He's been fantastic. But the last week or so, as I say, he turned 14 on Tuesday. Um, but he's just had a wee bit, his, his breathing is quite heavy, he had a tiny wee bit of a nosebleed, uh, not, not too much, but um, he's just, I can feel the, the, sort of the change in him again, the, the heaviness in his breathing, but, you know, at times like now, he's a cheeky wee boy and he's, he's happy to run about and play, and at other times he's just lying down and that's when I hear, it's like a, it's as if he's... Respiratory? Like, yeah, as if he's snoring or struggling to breathe through his his nose but he's lying there now quite happy but it's just I know he's old and stuff but I just wonder well, that's I that's more the energies I don't see anything with his respiratory mm -hmm. other than um the energies coming in but I see something in his urinary tract that I'm I that I want to do a healing on okay um it's more like a prostate like the old age prostate problem. Oh, okay. And has he had problems going to the bathroom or no, peeing? No, actually, no, not that I've noticed. Okay. Yeah, that's really good. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if this is a future event or, or but, yeah. and maybe I'm, this is going to prevent that from coming going forward. But um, that's what father is showing me is. Uh, okay. Well, I'm getting that. Uh, sometimes. All animals have chakras as well as us, obviously. And it's something to do with his throat chakra and needs a bit of nourishment. He could do about seven. He could play meditation. Yeah. Know, animal. yeah. 750 years, I think it is. Or, uh, or use some crystals. Uh, third eye is your blue. So, well, third eye. Yeah, use some crystals, energize them, and nourish his chakra system. Okay. Yeah. I'll certainly do that, yeah. 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 I think meditation a lot. Good. Do you want a card, by the way? Yes, please. Like, like Deb's that, sure. <laughs> or Deb's healing. Just say stop. Stop, please. <clears throat> yeah, forgiveness. Quite difficult with a dog, but... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Forgiveness is basically... Yeah. Just release irritations, <laughs> anger, but you probably haven't got any. So let me do another one. I don't like that card. <laughs> <laughs> You know, Father did show me a cyst in his sinus, which we just dissolved, which may have been some of the problem oh, with the, the bleeding. Too. Yeah, because that uh, back in December when we had him at the vet, that's what they thought. They thought he maybe had a, a tumour behind his sinus. Um, that's actually oh, a, a cyst. That's love. Thank you very much. Thank you. But just say stop again. This time it'll work. Okay. Oh, okay. It's, it's <laughs> forgiveness. <laughs> that must be the one. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not sure how that relates let, let me think about it how would that relate uh, <clears throat> forgiveness come and tell me Rick, Rick said that's a puppy and I said no it's not it a puppy <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Was, it looks so young because yeah. even his eyes look young he's so Good and I said no that's her, that's, that's her older dog yeah <laughs> yeah, yeah 14 so then well. I kept. Then he. Then I started doubting myself. Did she get a new one? Because he <laughs> did. He was so frisky. And I said, "Okay, now is it a boy or a girl thing?" Because I knew he had a boy. Yeah. <laughs> He's making me doubt myself. <laughs> no, that's the older dog. He's, he's, oh. got, he's got good energy. That's yeah. Really. He has. He's still got lots of fun and nonsense in his head. <laughs> sure does. Yeah. I don't understand that kind of brother. It's basically releasing anger, releasing, but I can't feel it. So, 
Okay, well, I'll have a wee, I'll, I'll sit with him and have a wee think and we'll, we'll see. But I'm sure yeah. maybe he knows what it is. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Thank hey, you Rick. so much. Hey, Matt, does anything here recite? Um, <coughs> not really. It's, it's quite a, a happy mm. wee throw. He does get, he does um, get a little bit angry um, when he sees birds and different things coming into the garden. He has a good old bark at that. Um, mm. But apart from that, I don't understand that. Oh. We've well, we got it twice. <laughs> yeah, I'm glad he's got best anyway. Yeah, I th thank you very much. I really appreciate it. Thank you. You're mm -hmm. welcome. Would you like me to go ahead now? Yes. Uh, not yet. I have a cat. I will show my cat first. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. I have a pet. Oh, no. Um, Daphne wanted to give her information on that. Oh, her, her information. Okay. No, no. Information. No, no, no. That was uh, regarding a scan. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah. Oh, okay. Go ahead. So I'll, I'll go ahead. Mm -hmm. Okay. Moment. Oh. <laughs> What's your kitty's name? Me. This is Donna. Lola? Donna. Donna. Donna? Yeah. Cook, my dad. Cook. <laughs> Not your name. <laughs> oh, Donna. I'm pretty. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, oh. <laughs> okay. Right to the heart. Mm -hmm. There's a healing going on in her heart. <laughs> Has she been sneezing, coughing? Yeah, it's just a hard time um, breathing good. All of them. Every, almost all the cats and have been doing going through this. And ours are too. Mm. I, and I, again, I think it's the energies coming in that they're coming in so strong. Yeah. It's like they can't catch their breath. Going, from the heart, we're going into the respiratory and mm -hmm. doing some healing there. Mm -hmm. And up into her sinus. She's very loud when she's... She snore? Yeah. Well, that's her breed because they have the flat oh, face. Yeah. yeah. Is that why we all snore? Because <laughs> we have a flat face? <laughs> No, they their face and like pugs, I pugs. Uh, the dog also yeah. snore very loud. I know this because my granddaughter has a pug, mm. and she snores very loud. <laughs> Do you have anything, Phil? Uh, just a little bit of what you what you feed might be worth just looking at. What you feed. I don't know why you've been given that. I've just been given it. But apart from that, she looks very old. She's thirteen years old. Mm, that's good. She's how old? Thirteen. Thirteen. Might be worth looking at a diet as she's getting older. That's what I'm being told. What she eats might have to change your food. I don't. I don't know. I'm not an expert. In cat. Yes, my 14 year old cat oh, suddenly is allergic to chicken, turkey, duck, and salmon. <laughs> That's her favorite. <laughs> All of that. Yeah, and they can't. I, I can't feed. So, and we have other cats, so now I, none of them can eat that because yeah, they all eat from the same dish. My concern for her is her breathing. When she breathes, I try to breathe with her, and then it sounds when she inhales. And then, <laughs> and so other, she's very healthy. She's healthy. Mm, she, yeah. she no, she is. Now she is. No, she doesn't. No. Does she breathe like that like regular or certain days or certain time when you feed her certain food? Well, she may have an allergy. No, no. She don't have. But it could be a, a reaction. She may have food. now. She may have now. <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah, and she she's a veggie. She eats vegetables. <laughs> when I give her, she eats vegetables. That's and good. Yeah. When she when she has this problem, is it every day or is it a certain day of the week or it, is it now and then? It's every day. Mm. There is no. They know this breathing. She cannot sleep in my room. I cannot sleep. <laughs> mm. otherwise she is okay mm. only when she ran you know when she ran like she's out of breath and then she will shake her head like I'm thinking there must be something like so much air in her ears that she will shake her head like that that's what I thought well that could be draining in her ears but um, that's kind of normal you can put some um, coconut oil in her ears just a little bit and rub it in. Mm. That's got a natural antibiotic in it. Mm. 
It's very good for cats and dogs. You put a little mm -hmm. bit in their ears and just rub it, let it go down deep. Don't stick it really deep in their ear. Yeah. Just put a little bit in and then rub it, rub it, rub it, rub it. And they don't like it, but they get used to it. And then let that antibiotic get into the ear. Yeah, her ear is, is <laughs> very small. Yes. And hardly open it. Yeah, well, you can do it. Just a little tiny bit of um, coconut oil. Mm -hmm. You know, if they have ear mites, the, the coconut oil takes the ear mites away, and you know all of that. Mm -hmm. It's okay. good for them, actually. Even even to eat, put a little bit in their food. It's good for them to eat. It keeps their coat yeah, oil. moisturized. Yeah. It's true. A little oil. She has yeah. that. Mm -hmm. She has that. Okay. Got to press. Stop. Press me stop button. Oh, I've got to go to the restroom. To no forgiveness. Why are y'all break? Forgiven everyone already. Retreat. <laughs> retreat. I, uh, that, you gave me that before also. Retreat. I have to retreat. <laughs> to keep silent and talkative. Yeah. Need to slow down and have a rest of your journey. It could be. Uh, uh, it could be you need the retreat because your cat's picking up your. The energy of it, you, you need to get rid of. Okay. okay. I need to clean my energy. <laughs> I'm very talkative. I try not to, but I am. <laughs> mm. I, I just want to say something else. I picked another card for mm. them to, uh, the one before you, you. I can't remember that. I got the same card again. I was trying to tell the cards, no, you can't have these cards. I got it three times. So, mm -hmm. uh, I can't remember what it is. Yeah. yeah. We used to have three cats, three, and the one died when they were five. Then now we have two. Okay, so the next one. Yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So the next one is Daphne. Okay, are we sure we don't have any more pets? Anybody um, have a pet? A moment, moment, moment. Let me look. I have not I think there is one. There's someone. Where is? Aya Maria. Yeah, there is Maria. Okay. I have a question about my little guys. Okay, Maria. Hi, everyone. Hi, Phil. Nice Hi. to see you again. Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, I have two dogs. They're mixed. Um, they're little and they're brothers. But then one older mixed, uh, bigger dog appeared in my doorstep about a year ago and she never left. Uh, and it was like, she, she, this was her home. She just walked in and she just never left. Even when I would leave her outside, she was in my lawn. <laughs> so she's been integrated into the family with my two boy dogs. But um, the li I have one, he's black and white. And um, he had a, a, a traumatic experience soon after we got them. We adopted them from someone. And uh, we were gonna take him out for a walk and one of my kids accidentally dropped the um, handle of the walking uh, chain that pulls out and he ran off but uh, it made a loud noise so now my little guy if I were to put anything on his neck to take him for a walk he'll just sit he won't budge and um, he's very fearful uh, if you not fearful but like if he gets overly excited, he'll start just urinating all over the place. And he is afraid of a lot of like noises, um, um, just certain things like that. So maybe he's dealing with some anxiety or something. I'm not sure. Yeah, Do you have a, like a, a camera, drama. Maria? Oh, yeah. I'll show you. Sounds like he's got trauma, do not Young age. Uh, this little guy, his name's Chip. To be see how he goes down and then if i'm not watchful it might just sprinkle on me <laughs> did he um, um mm -hmm. is, is, did he is he the one that walked in at, or you just you, you no, don't know I, his back you don't know his background i don't actually there was a family who had a litter of dogs and they were just really wanting to get rid of them um and they were looking at taking them to the shelter and i adopted these two brothers from them that's how we acquired them. And then she's the one that showed up at my doorstep. And my kids just started calling her Lily. But she does real good with them when it comes to, because these little guys argue a lot. 
and she really just rushes in and gets in between all of that. Uh, but I'm just wondering if I'm servicing them right as their, you know, as their owner and if I'm doing the best that I can. This isn't you. It's not like a trauma. Mm, mm, mm. Can you put the video on him again, Sarah? Mm -hmm. Come here, Chippy. Chippy. <laughs> this little guy. Chippy, Chippy. Okay, he's he's got he's under attack. Mm. How many implants? Oh, I'm trying to count the implants in him. He's got five implants on a tracking device. Not all of them are active. Three out of the five are. The other two are backup. Well, wow. <clears throat> tracking device is in his left front paw. Implants are along his spine. <laughs> I was told it'd be a good idea to grid the house with crystals. Mm -hmm. uh, Let's wait and see where they, who's doing this first and see what. Mm -hmm. I'm waiting for Phil. Sorry. Nearly nodded up. Uh, it's connected to your past. we are trying to get it, yeah. I go going for your animals. You probably knew that, actually. Did you know that? You know what? I think I know what you're talking about. Yeah. Um, yeah, because that kind of gave me a push to grow in my own spirituality yeah. and my own self growth. So I think I do. And as soon as you mentioned implants and all these things, that just immediately came through to me as well. Yeah. And uh, I've been working a lot on myself and there's a lot of energy coming through me, especially at night. <laughs> mm. There's a lot of work that's uh I guess I'm doing unawareingly, and I I also do think that it's affecting those that are around me. So, my pets. Um, I have a cat Isis, but I think cats are more, yeah, they're 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 kind of so connected to that realm. Um, but my dogs are a little bit everywhere. Yeah, I actually met Isis this week. <laughs> yes, I read I read about that 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 was yeah. surreal. It was surreal. That really was. Wow. Well. Yeah. Yeah. So, mm, what? what I, we can. I've dissolved them yet. It's what do we do well, to its destination? Mm. So there's obviously a connection. We, they know we, we can do that. They know where you are, sort of thing. Mm -hmm. So I'll send some energy through that they didn't expect. Do the best way. Yeah. Mm. So uh, it's like a warning. I'll give them a warning. Right. Hopefully. That'd be better. Yeah, if you do a cleanse on the outer crystal grid. Uh, it's like a demigod, actually, but I, I, I'd say a wannabe god. It's not a demigod. It's a wannabe god, like a dark one. Yeah. Mm. Uh, I sent a warning, anyway. I was just, just to let everyone know, I've just gone astro. In, in our time, that's about two hours I've just been. Yeah, it was only minutes. Yeah. So just that's how, that's how all this work can be done in astro. Because you can be in it for hours and hours. Yeah, yeah, it's nothing. Minutes. It could even be a week. Thank so do you. you. Want, do you want a card? Yeah, do I have the, a card? Yeah, yeah, you can have a card. The, uh, the implants have been dissolved, by the way. Thank you. Just say stop. This is for you. Stop. Right, let's just see what, what, what it reads and see who it's for. Mm -hmm. yeah. I haven't had this one before. Nothing, what, nothing, what, nothing. Dreams. Oh my God. <laughs> well, does that make sense? Yes. <laughs> You're being sent messages for your dreams. Oh my God. A lot. Yeah. In, I, keep, a, keep a pen next to you. You might forget the other one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much. So that one's for you, that one. Thank you. Okay, Lily. Okay. All clear. The next is Daphne. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Huh. Alrighty, so um, I have no word, no thoughts of anything wrong health-wise, physically. Can everybody hear me? Yep. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Alrighty, but there's um, been some, I know we're going through major shifts, and then everything is changing, you know, in the physical and every other realm. Um, but I'm I'm I would love a scan of uh my home um and myself. I don't, um, 
I don't bother with scanning my body because I don't believe any implants are actually affecting me. They, they can't touch my light. I'm just too bright. Okay. You're right. All right. So whether, you know, they put, put, put one in me or not, it's not effective. So, um, but I have seen the, the nature, my family, my birds and everything and squirrels. Uh, that's all been an upset lately. The couple of crows are, are attacking and chasing and stuff like that. And also my dreams. I'm having to transmute dreams right now of uh, um, surgery and dying and stuff like that. That's uh, very, very, um, it's not quite like a, um, oh. I can, I can tell you that you have some portals that have opened. Okay. All right. That would make sense. There's one in your backyard. There's one that, that's mine in my backyard. That, no, there's one that's not yours in your backyard. Okay. Um, the one that's near the my garden, the tires, the tire gardens is one that's mine. And I actually saw the imprint just like um, a crop circle, almost imprint. Yeah. There's one that's uh, that's not yours. Okay. That is um, camouflaged. Okay. And if, hmm. and there's also one in your bedroom. In my bedroom. Okay. That, will, that would make sense for the dreams and, and for the, the animals as well. And it, it could be tied to uh, the landlord, the landlord of the property who comes once a oh, week. Oh, that would make sense. Once a week or two. And he's just uh, carries a lot of uh, oh, that hostility. that makes sense a lot. That energy. Hostility is, and oh. negative. Oh, yeah. He just wants to lash out at everything. You know, that makes a lot of sense. Yeah. So I'll have to start clearing. I don't know why that comes. makes sense. As soon as you said landlord. Yeah. Um, I got a, I got a, it's like a, I got a heaviness in my chest. Oh yeah. It's, um, and someone, someone said, to, who said this? Archangel Michael said, he said, fake Lord. Yeah. It's, it's too bad. Yeah. It's from like the 3d power structure and he's, had his power taken away. So he's frustrated and wants to lash out at everybody. So uh, I've just been one of his targets. I, I've actually done pretty good with him until they moved, but he, they come back, he comes back and his father comes back. To yeah, deal he's, with in, he's in a rage. He's in a oh, rage. Yeah. He's oh yeah. Oh yeah. And doesn't realize what his rage is. Oh no. Because he's he, at himself is his ego. Yeah. Well, his father's father-in-law has kept him from, you know, being himself and, you know, and wow. whatever. So, and it's too common a saying. I'll He's tell you right angry. now. He's a very angry person. He is. But, um, he is. The, but the, the dark are using him. Oh, yeah. There you go. All right. Okay. Well, I'm going to put up a really nice, powerful uh, shield around this house. We can help right now. <laughs> Phil, Phil's actually doing it. <laughs> yeah, with you. That's wonderful. That's wonderful. And I'm going to put up a, a personal shield in my bedroom and around myself of mirrors because I feel that when they start getting it well, bounced yeah. back at them, then Those they portals don't need to be there. So let's let, let's just take care of that right now. So perfect. Okay, wonderful. Okay. Stand if you're back. Yeah, I, I sent some love energy through one of the portal. So hopefully they'll be <laughs> perfect. If they're dark, then they'll be blessed still. So. Perfect. Yeah. yeah. You can close it now. Okay. okay. I didn't bother going in that time. I'm not in the mood. <laughs> you would find it. Uh, um, now knowing about it, you would have found it um, oh, yourself yeah. because it's really, it looks, anyway, it's, they're going away. Mm -hmm. All right. Great. Right. Should be a lot better now. Okay, perfect. Now, would you also like to scan my body and remove any implants and whatever? Just for a clean start. I would love that, please. I'm just uh, I'm just lifting your vibration to be honest. You don't have any implants, but you have like a, I don't know what that is. There's something on her, right above her root chakra. I wouldn't call it an implant. What is that, a tracker? I think it's just a tracking device so, so they know where you are. I think it's something different, actually. What is that? I think it's something meant to block. 
to block energy or something? No, Father says that's not what it is. Okay. Because they don't have the power to do that. They can't block your energy. Only you can. Mm. Okay. That is like a device that that, that uh, they want to keep track of you, where no. you are. Well, I'm pretty open and in your face for everybody and anybody. So, and I already know they track me even without those devices in my body. So I'm not really too worried. See, that's that's their weakness. They 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 feel like they have to put something on you. Yeah, but they don't have you. any. They have no power over me whatsoever. Right, but they they feel like that gives them power over you. They have that's their ego. Yeah, yeah. It only affects me if I allow it. That's right. <laughs> See, that's why you're power, more far, powerful than they are. That, that's why they're inferior in their mentality and their strength. Yeah, yeah. We are and, much more powerful. And similar with the landlord, you know. Well, the, when this is I'm talking about. Of the, yeah. the, the evil, I put my power there. Yes. And yes. They don't expect it from a female, you know. They remind an elderly female. <laughs> I, I know. I know. These... Um, these sinister ones that um, they want, they want to recreate us. They want mm-hmm. to be us. And that, that's impossible. Mm-hmm. So these implants uh, are put in from the consciousness from the light grid in 4D. And I think people have read that uh, during the event recently, me and me dragon took out one in uh, Antarctica, which is right. the reason why later on tonight. And yep. a friend of mine, they went to China and took one out there. So we are we are trying to get them, but obviously, as soon as you do something, they do something else. It's a bit like like a game of chess. <laughs> so, mm-hmm. but, uh, we're, winning. we're winning. It's we gone and won. it's gone, and um, you'll feel some energy there for healing the spot that it was in. Thank you. I don't see anything else? Nothing. You're very good about protecting yourself. <laughs> You know, the only time I put a shield up is if I want them to feel back what they're, what they're sending. And it's a mirror shield, you know, and I put out the intention and vocalize, okay, I'm shielded in mirrors now. Whatever you send to me is coming back to you threefold. So stop, right? Why, why, why don't you do a portal? A portal. Well, I have a portal, but no, I use, I use a portal, a portal shield. A portal shield. Well, what does a portal shield do uh, as opposed to a mirror shield? The mirror shield so, came to me naturally one day. Yeah, you can you can you can take it anywhere. Then it doesn't go back to it; it goes to wherever you want it to go. Oh, okay, all right. Yeah, yeah but it doesn't does it deflect? No. Yeah, you're not did... sending it back, but if you send it into a portal, they'll think it's still being sent to you. Oh, when you okay. reflect it back, they know it's getting reflected. Right, right. Well, that's, then, that's the difference. That's the, the difference. Right. Then that's that's me taking my power, sending in my power. Yeah, and I like that. So I'm getting a nudges to to stand in, right in my my power. You see, so mm. yeah, got taken in a journey to uh, Egypt, overlooking three pyramids and the Sphinx yesterday during a shamanic journey. Yeah, uh, after going through a uh, looked like a gateway of rainbow light that circled clockwise around us, a circular lake. And then uh, after looking over the pyramids and the three pyramids and the Sphinx, a uh, column of white light with a little bit of blue came out of the night sky and shone down to the ground in front of me. Mm. And that was the end of that one. But I love magical events. (laughs) A bit like me going to Egypt on Tuesday. Oh, was it Monday? I can't remember. Yeah. Uh, yeah, there's some vibration been lifted as well, even though you're protecting your good anyway. Uh, everything else. All right. Card time. And now I'm shuffling. I can I'm hear back. it. Yeah. <laughs> okay, now. Sure. Is that no? No. Stop, is it? Stop, 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 stop. Yeah. Third time lucky. <laughs> Divine timing. <laughs> I love it. Yeah. yeah. Which I follow for everything. Your <laughs> prayers have been answered by universal law. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. Just one thing. I've just been told, sorry. At the mm-hmm. end, the kin- we're not check- connecting arts because it's a bit dark, like but I'm going to slightly merge with my crystal source dragon and I'll send everyone healing. 
There you go, that's what I've been told. <laughs> so, and lift and protection, if you know what I mean. Like a grid. That's okay. Mm -hmm. Sounds interesting. Is Lily? Lily? Anyone? Hey, the next one. The next one is David. Hello, David. Hello. Hello. Hi. <clears throat> Um, I, I've had quite a bit of illness over the last seven days. Um, I, I've had my left big toe hurting so much I couldn't walk. And then on the a moment after I spoke to the doctor about it, it cleared up instantly. And then I have pains in my abdomen um, such that I can barely move, change position. I've had that since Thursday and I've been in agony. Um, today's been the worst day because I had a friend come to visit and I seem to almost do a miraculous recovery mood wise but I still have the pain and now in the last two hours I've developed a cough <coughs> your cat is here oh please stop mourning me please stop being so sad please I'm okay I love you so much please please stop being so sad I, I thought I'd managed to cope with that. Please, you have to live. Please, this is all her. Please. Yes, she's so distressed over you being oh. so sad all the time. She's just so upset that you ha you cannot let go, that you need to let go. Well, I thought. Can I, I, can, I, can, I can I say one thing? You said, I thought I coped with that. Yes. It's not coping, it's releasing. You can't oh, cope with something. You can't like handle it that way. You've got to let it go. That's I've never, never known how to release things, Phil. Yeah. If I can say, yeah. the coming and going of the pain that you feel in your body, is your body actually showing you how to let go of things very easily? Oh. If You're not you ill at all. You're bringing on sickness by holding on. Okay. So what do I do? You're making yourself sick. Okay. But your body showing you how easily you can let go of the pain as well. Those things don't, of the, the don't total pain. It. When you become, when you get it, when you're with people, it all, it goes away. Yes, when you right. go to the doctor, it goes yes, away. Yes. You're yes. lonesome. You're lonely. Yes. Yes. I just, I just picked a card for you. It okay. had new love. It right. had new love. Ever thought of getting another cat? Well, yes, but I'd like a little bit of freedom. I've been trapped for 30 years, Phil. I want mm. to travel a little bit. And do that. Stop sitting in the house. Make plans. Yeah. You're not sick. There's nothing wrong with you. Okay. Your, okay. your kitty cat is fine. She's, okay. she's moved on. She's reincarnated. She's yes. a bird. She's yeah. flying. She's not sitting in a house. She yeah. wanted to be a bird. She's flying everywhere and looking down. <laughs> do do yeah. you see why she wanted to be a bird? Yes, yes, I do. But you know, I don't make stuff up. When I tell you, I oh, thought I know that. Dealt with it. I thought yeah, no, you, you, you're manifesting it. I'm sorry. You're manifesting it from the pain. Okay. And when it said new love, it means occupy to do something else. Okay. Do something. Anything. Okay. Anything. Things that you've always wanted to do, you've got the possibility now of doing. Okay. Love yourself. It's time to love you. Be happy. Mm -hmm. That's going to be a new skill for me. I know. I know. It, mm -hmm. You know, remember I said how, how you've changed, David? You have. You became such a lighter, happier person. And, mm -hmm. and you smiled. You were like, yeah, you had. And then you lost your girl. It's it's okay. She it, she felt it was time for her to move on, and she wanted to move on. This was her yeah. end, her time to move forward. And it was okay for you to. It, she felt like you could handle it, but she, now you're still holding a piece of her. You know your sadness okay. or the sadness of loss. It's okay to let that go. And mm -hmm. how do you release it? Look at it in your palm of your hand. The sadness and and maybe. A little bit of anger that she left you. No, and I'm not angry with her. Good. If anything, I'm upset with myself. Well, no. then don't be upset with yourself. There's no reason to be upset. Mm. There isn't. Put that in your hand. And forgiveness and love. Yeah. But, I mean, forgiveness for yourself or whatever. And whatever you're holding inside that needs to be released, 
look at it in your hand and then blow it away. It's mm -hmm. gone. You can't hold on to these things. No, no. Can I just show, I'll show you this card. I, I picked that three times for you on the trot. New love. What does yeah. new love mean? It can be a, a new journey, a new path. It could be any animal. It could be any spiritual path. It can be anything. But you, so you've got to find some sort of goal now, some sort of system to enjoy yourself. Okay. Could be easy. Send, she's sending you so much love because she knows how much you need it. Thank you. You know, I go to development classes for mediumship, and I've been doing that for seven years, and also healing. And everybody that tries to teach me something fails because I don't understand what they're talking about. Can I say one thing there? Yes. That, that is a program you're putting in your head. So if right. you go to any other one, they're going to fail because you have t said to yourself, okay. that anyone I ever go to, it fails on you. So leave it's that word. Gotta get out of that. here. It's got to be here. It always has to come from the heart. You can't analyze and, and teach something here. You have to teach it through it, the, the emotions and everything. Right. It's, it's, it's all in here. It's all in your heart. Yeah. I don't think I do emotions. You have to, you have to learn it. And you have, mm -hmm. to, you have to work on that yourself. Nobody can teach you that. And it, don't say I don't think. That means no, you're manifesting no. that now. <laughs> <laughs> Phil, I'm simply trying to communicate with you. Yeah. I'm, not yeah. trying, I'm not a negative I know. Person. Yeah. And yeah. you know that feeling that you felt for your beautiful girl, that's that's where you have to start. That's that's what you have to feel about yourself. That's the beginning. Mm. Okay, thank you. And that's where you that's that's where your first step should be, bringing your you into that point. Mm. It's that love. And that's start breathing from that point okay thank that you. loving energy right there that's it that emotion okay when you bring yourself to feeling that way for the love you felt for her that's it that's how you have to feel about you mm. okay you're a card uh, by the way yeah i've got angels around you to try and help oh, thank just you. listen to just listen spot the signs thank you uh, just say stop <sighs> This is what you should manifest, miracles. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, she would be not doing nicely. <laughs> yeah, it says you may you're feel You're laughing like... and you're smiling. How's your pain? Mm. Well, a bit better. It's a bit better. Yeah, you may feel you need a miracle. Yeah. Let, go, let source show you the path to resolve the situation. Okay. Thank you, That's Phil. what miracles mean. Okay. Yeah. So smiling and laughing takes the pain away. How about that? How about that? <laughs> I'd like to add, David, to to see the beauty around you. Um, you don't get much of that right now with your sorrow and, and loss. Mm. But this is a beautiful time of year where there's so many flowers and gardens, just immaculate gardens, where there's beautiful roses that have great aroma. And, and if you could just... Try to immerse yourself in a little bit of the beauty around you. Find a, find some place where you can start to absorb and maybe connect to the outside nature and and the beauty. I think that'll help you a lot. He lives in a, he lives in a country where there's beautiful roses and right. Well, gardens. I'm getting I'm getting the roses and gardens will be a, such a help for you. Okay, you know, thank you. Make, make the effort, you know, put out, um, make a time during the day, uh, if you can, every day for a little bit to go and enjoy them. Okay. You, okay. Are you in London? No, I'm near Manchester, near Phil in Manchester. That, that could be why. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm sure there's stately homes out there. <laughs> Perhaps I'll turn mine into one. Listen, there, there's you castles. Go. You come across castles everywhere in England. That could be your new creative outlet, David, you know, planting. Yes, yeah. Right. I'd like to build a castle. <laughs> there you there, go. There's there's a church in Nutsford that's not too far from me. And there's a tower with a square room at the top and there's turrets. And I thought that room would be ideal for me. 
There you go. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> <laughs> you go. There you go. See, there's lots of happiness here. Mm. All right. You know, David, you've got a glow now. Oh, it's thank you. It's thank you. Yeah, I've got right. more of a glow than when you came up. Okay. Thank you. We love you. Thank you very much. I love you, David. Bye bye. Bye. All right, Lily. Okay. The next one is Victoria. Victoria. What's up, Victoria? Hello. Your um, turn for a scan? Just uh, uh, a scan would be nice. Uh, Deb, just one thing. I got a personal message off Rose, so after Victoria, we can do Rose if you want. All right. Did you get attacked in the astral? E likely, I do get attacked. I did once. Um, uh, I'm just asking because I see something on your back, like scratches, and I don't know whether it's physical or astral. Whether I'm supposed to heal that or you can heal it. I did feel a couple of days ago that they were they were attacking, and um, the interesting part is like um, that that it was more it was energetic as well as you know what you call to probably try to scratch me like in many places and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. But it's not only the lower back was having a lot of um, pain um, due to that and. Even the front uh, abdominal um, a little bit. It was like kind of shifting around that pain. But that vibration had really a um, couple of day, couple of nights, nights ago, it was um, really hard. The lower part of my legs and stuff just kept vibrating. But, it, but the upper part cannot do anything because of that attack. So it's, it's, it's a frequency plus... Um, physical when they're hanging around they're just literally trying their best to break into the shield you know what i got victoria i've got the, you were helping create a vortex huh? linked to linked to pyramids not so long ago and i think it was something to do with that i was creating vortexes a vortex to... over over it was connected to pyramids so i'm not sure what all that is i'm not going to get all the information it's not my project yeah, it, well, I do know that it was the um, the nephis. That's what it is. The nephis, um, the healing pool was used. That's all I can tell you. Well, I can't get all the information anyway. <laughs> but uh, in this case, um, it was a rescue mission. So um, you're saying that they're they're mad that the well, it's linked to that then. The same. I'm limited. I'm lim the information is limited because I'm not allowed to know all of it. All I know is it's connected to the vortex. And the so obviously, something happened there, and you probably just got a little bit of. We get injuries a lot in Astra. It's just part of the course. It it'll go very quickly anyway. I don't even think Deb needs to heal it. You can get rid of it. Just go. It's a memory of the of the event, so it won't yeah. stick. It won't stick. Yeah, and plus um, recently with all the upgrades and Akashic memory coming in from the Atlantis and whatnot, there were more, um, I guess, more connection, if you know what I mean. There's, there's, there's this sharp pain that happens every now and then. And I'm not sure. Like in the ab abdomen after the uh, the attack took place, it's just a little sharp sharp pain. It, it, but it doesn't come often, but it will literally show up sometimes. Does that have anything to do with that? With those um, that a little attack or? I, don't know. <laughs> hmm? not, not I mean, helpful. I mean, there was there was this huge vibration that came in hmm. that was troubling and. It was it was creating all a that lot of time a lot of times when you have, have pains it's to do with your chakra system yes it's really to do with your chakra system. Uh, that vibration was really um really intense but it wasn't going anywhere it wasn't going upward it was it was, it was literally blocked um stuck at the um, bottom bottom you know bottom chakras and the legs were completely like I said I couldn't I couldn't really do much because of that vibration, but the upper chakras were not affected and, and the energy weren't rising at that time. So no matter what, usually my 
my energy will flow from the ground, from the earth and go upward up my Kudalini. And, but then it was completely blocked, like maybe during that attack when it was happening with the frequencies. Mm. So I was wondering if the, other than those scratches that you're seeing, is there something else going on with my chakras or something? Because uh, uh, it's, it's, it's rare for me to have these sharp pain and I still have it right now. I don't know if that's an ovary thing going on or what. Sometimes if you get pain in the chakras, it's a release, mm. like a vacuum, a release. So the higher vibration you get, sometimes you've got unwanted energies that's been released, maybe from past lives. And I had one recently on my heart chakra and it, it nearly, it was like having a knife in me. It was awful. And that was, uh, that was me, my curse one. It was being released. Mm. So, uh, yeah, I can imagine that's a release of, uh, and that's why you probably, you just need to try and energize your chakra system, nourish them. And uh, frequency is about three or 400 when it's the lower one. What happens is your frequency from your root is about 300, 350 to nourish them. And your chakra just goes up in about hundreds to 900 to 1,000 to your mm-hmm. crown chakra. Once uh, I removed the, the scratches, um, your your glow, that golden glow is back. Mm-hmm. So you should feel a lot better now. Mm-hmm. Thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome. Yeah, I, I think <laughs> it would have gone after a week anyway. And it would have come back. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, I was just doing a quick yeah. yeah um i've been taking out my baby out for walks and as you know the ships are active and um i just don't know you can't lock him up at home it's not no, safe. you can't no either, either way he's he seems to get attention a lot you know but yeah. that red um but that um new roping system that they're using I didn't really hear too clearly what what your what you said earlier. Could you repeat it? I know that there's an entity involved in it. Like I, I could. Oh, I could. He, he said he was going to let you know later. He didn't want to oh. bring it up here. Oh, okay, okay, yeah. Because I wasn't really sure what I heard. Um, there yeah. were some things. All right. Later, yeah. lady. Later. Later. Got it. Got it. Got it. <laughs> Thank you so much. Yeah, it's just too much for here. Yeah. Um, you going to give her a card? Yeah. Just say, don't say stop yet. Uh, you can do it when you want. Now. Stop, please. Okay. This is ideas and inspiration. Yeah, I can say that one, correct? Yeah, you <laughs> said it. God speaks to you with your thoughts, but you need to start listening to it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you, yeah. you know, you know the, um, I've been, like last time we were, um, you told me to keep practicing. And so I was trying to practice what I remember from Atlantis and maybe that's why because I'm accessing that you know those energies and those skills that I'm being blocked here you think how you can do it easy quickie is if you find out your aspects on Atlantis connect to them and set partially merge with them you'll get all the knowledge you want there yeah, our brain is kind of old every all our past lives, but we can access all our past lives in our old soul. And that sort of life would be quite knowledgeable. Ne- Nephis is one of my higher selves, one of my aspects, those aspects. Mm. She is um, Isis' sister. And, Nefertiti? Um, well, not Nefertiti, but Nephis, Isis' sister, the... Uh, God is a protection. Um, she deals with souls who pass on and who can raise the dead and stuff like that. I remember when I first um, awakened and mastered in 2017, they were telling me one of my skills is I could resurrect a fallen demon lord. So that means you're more towards energetic and bringing them back to a life or something like that. Um, so I think... If I were to connect with that one, it would be more in line of healing work. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, my uh, my dean, well, King of Orion has connected, and he wants to help me to release karma. So that's mm-hmm. what you're basically doing, awakening him to release the karma. But he, they've got to want to do that. That's the point. Some of them might not want to. <laughs> yeah. mm-hmm. 
yeah, to release the 22 soul groups is not going to be easy in that sense. Many are too, too, um, uh, too troubled by all these yeah. in incarnations and fragmented. The, even Gaia, the entire planet, during that cataclysm, everyone was fragmented. So to, to gather everyone to make it worse, the fragmentations didn't help when they deliberately um, mix them all together to make it harder to clear, if you know what I mean. Yeah, so there's a lot of healing that's required and it's a lot more difficult. And I don't know why I am being, being guided to these kind of information when I'm not really um, healing as a profession here, you know? You can, but, always, ask, you can always ask source the question. And it'll, yeah. It'll come back to you. I, I have the answer. That's yeah. the problem. I do have the answer. Um, I guess it's a matter of um, trying to really integrate it. Because mm -hmm. when I'm doing this kind of work, I'm, I'm getting heavy attacks. As you can see, it just keeps coming this year. Keeps mm -hmm. coming. So... Um, how, that's, how, just, that's, that's just part of the job. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It is part of the job. Um, I, I, to be honest, I get attacked even without even doing anything. So it has you, been like you that. You would be still doing something in astral. Yeah, in the astral. Yeah. But I'm yeah, talking so about the doing, physical. Yeah, but you're still doing something. So your physical is easy, your sway to attack uh, a spirit that's doing astral work. Physical. Attack mm -hmm. the people around you, attack the yep. pets around you. Oh, oh, oh yeah, and there was a recent um, thing, and uh, going back to one of the. Um... Excuse me, we got people waiting. Oh, I, we, you guys could talk all night. <laughs> all right, we'll talk again. Thank you so much. Yeah. Love, love you. We, we can we can write a book. <laughs> yeah, definitely. <laughs> all right, you said Rose was next. Yeah. She sent you a private Rose. message. Ah, uh, six. Yeah. 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 Hi, Rose. Hello, and uh, thank you so much to accept me to come to your uh, healing. Uh, it's, it's, um, it's my very first time ever I come to healing. Um, it's uh, from one of my friend, Don, who he just uh, told me, why don't you come there? They were going to heal and they were going to help you out. Yes. I just wanted to thank you, to you, Mama, and to you, Philip, but uh, to accept me. I have a little bit problem in my own. So I try to um, help myself uh, to solve the problem, but I can't. And then I, um, uh, two times I just failed. And I don't know to whom I should turn to. Okay. Okay. I I just look every sign. <laughs> oh. Just let it go. Okay. I try to let it go, but I have to solve it. And I don't know how to do it. <laughs> two times. It's, uh, it's the two times I did. And then uh, two times I, I can't open it right now. If I could uh, speak to him private, and it would be better for me to talk from, it's from the scratch. But if you can read my mind, that I would be appreciated so that you can help me from there. Uh, yes. I don't know what to say. I don't know what to do. <laughs> you don't mind me asking, what what did you actually mean, your oil? I, I, I didn't get the actual word. I need help that uh, to be able to solve the problem that I have. Right. Okay. okay. Did you want to talk in private about it? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Do you want to wait until we're done with everybody else and then we'll have a private session? Yes. Okay. And then uh, how long should I wait for so that I can put my uh, time? How, how many more do we have here? Um, we have four. There's four a more? dog. There's a dog and body scan for three. Okay. Should we go first for the dog? Okay. 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 So, so we have like four more. Can mm -hmm. you wait? Yeah. Okay. Absolutely. I will wait for even if it's a hundred, but I know that you can't. No, I'm just joking. Okay. But, um, I will wait. Yes. Thank you okay. so much. I'm sorry. Okay. That's Thank okay. No, no, sorry. It's okay. Mm -hmm. 
All right, who's next, uh, Lily? There's the dogs. Should we come first with the, the dog? And then there is body scan for the three persons. What's the name of the person that has the dog? Susan Aaron. Okay. Hi, everybody. Hi, Susan. Hi. Are you okay being videoed? Uh, my dog is me. Huh? Are you okay being on video? Oh, yeah. Okay. Where's yes, your... I am. Okay. Where's That's your... why I, I hit video. Okay. <laughs> can you, um, can, you see, <laughs> can we see your dog? I love you. Oh. My, sure, hold on. I'm going to get her. I'll take a minute. Oh, come on. Come on. You're heavy. You're a healthy baby, huh? This is my baby. This is Mia. I'm Mia. Okay. She loves everyone, right? Do you see her? Rick's just sitting back over there. He had, Hi, Rick. Yeah, the chair, the chair was uncomfortable. We had to get she also has some kind of little abscess on her nipple. She's had that before and had it removed. And it's it's okay, but it um it's on a different it's on a different one there. It's um always checked out okay when it was removed. But um sometimes she's coughing. And I think they told me that happens sometimes with this breed. Yeah. Shih Tzu. She's doing it now a little bit. Where's the abscess? On her belly. I don't know if it's an abscess or a growth. It's on her belly. If I go, if I move her again, she's going to jump off. Say hi, Mimi. Okay. You good girl. And she's never been spayed. <laughs> How old is she? I think she's 14. Mm. Okay. You can put her down. Come on. That's it. <laughs> okay, go back to sleep. Just put energy in her body and um, into her uh, mouth. That's what I've done as well. Actually. Yeah, I, I saw it. <laughs> what was it? No energy. Oh, her energy? No, you know, we, 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 put, we, we, put, put, it. we put energy in her, in her body, healing energy. Oh, thank uh, you. You know, when we lost Lola, I had, she's, you know, been with, was with Lola for a long time since she came here, like, um, just 14 years. And when we lost Lola, that was very hard for her. Well, Susan, understand that, that she's lived a long life. And um, when it's her time, she's going to let you know. But um, yeah, this, this is a very long life for a, a dog that, that tiny. Um, well, she was about 15 pounds. But that's yeah, you're right. Yeah, they don't usually live this long, but usually, wow. uh, but she's doing very well for her yeah. age. She's doing very well. Thank you. She's such a blessing in this house yeah. to me in my heart. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you will know because you're very intuitive, and I knew with Lola. Lola. I knew, yeah. and I knew they tried telling me that nothing was wrong with her. I knew. I yeah, knew. but you know, don't. Don't fight it when it's their time because no, you know, no, don't fight it. I wanted to not want to see her suffer, and if but I could also, hold her, they un they understand that Mother Mary has has cut the cord that uh, they will not suffer. Okay, all animals that, that they they don't, you know, it may look like they're suffering. They're not. They're not feeling anything. Um, also, they they reincarnate reincarnate very quickly, so they're they will go to what they want to be next. Yes. Okay. And they come back to you? They can, so, they can, they can, or they, maybe it's not meant to be that they come back to you, but they all come back. You know, it may be a couple of lifetimes from now that they, they want to be something else. Like, you know, David, that's in the room with us, his cat wanted to be a bird. So she's a bird now. <laughs> she didn't want to be in a house. She wanted to be outside in the air. I think, yeah, I think I wondered about that, but I, off and on, I did, she was present. And when the day that she passed that night, because Mia heard her too. We, Mia jumped up and I heard her go, you know, like this little cry. Mm. And I, I moved and it was in the room and I said, oh, that's Lola. Oh, you know what, Dad? I know she was okay. I held her in my arms. They had to put her to sleep and I held her in my arms. She was all bundled up. She was licking my neck and I know she was so, she felt so loved and safe. And the tears are coming down my face when she's licking my tears. Yeah. And I held her till she passed. And 
It was so much most love I oh my god I ever felt. Yeah. Yeah. Amazing. Yeah. Well, you know, and then they're they're fine. They're fine. They're oh yeah. They go on to doing something else, but I could send her off and, or just be with her yeah, yeah. during at that time, knowing that uh, how, how deeply I loved her and she yeah. knew and I was if something was wrong, she came she might get mad at me, she might it was she ignored me for like yeah. a year, went right to my side. I was like, yeah. What? Yeah. But she knew I'm her mom and I would be always be there for her. All right, sweetie, we've got others waiting. But thank, thank you. you. Yeah. You're, you're welcome. Thank you, thank uh, you. Say stop quickly and I'll give you a card. <laughs> stop. There you go. I've seen that one before. Celebration. Yeah, I've seen it. I haven't picked it before. Celebration. Your ch- intentions to change your life are coming soon. I don't even know what that means. Is she froze? <laughs> right. Okay, Lily. Okay, the next one is for me to me, for me to be me. Everybody. You're welcome. You're welcome. Okay, I'm sorry, Lily, I didn't hear you. The next one is for me to be me. Are you still there? Yeah. There. Sorry, guys. Um, I'm getting interruptions on my internet, and I'm trying to get the record to come on, but there we go. Maybe we can do it that way. There we go. Okay. Sorry about that. You're welcome. You know, for a minute, for a minute when it says, for me to be, I thought Lily wanted Ely. <laughs> I'm sorry, say that again. Because of you, it says, for me to be me, I thought Lily wanted Ely. <laughs> it's your thing, it's your name. Yeah, what's your what's your first name? <laughs> I go by Bonnie, but oh. my real name is Cecilia, so. Okay, Bonnie. So do you want healing for yourself? Um, yeah, I was actually more concerned about my environment that I, you know. Oh, okay, a good idea. Shielded okay. it and didn't shield something inside with me. I don't feel like I have, but just to be objective, I guess. So we'll do your house and yourself at the same time, just in case. We'll give you Elin and we'll bless your house. We'll you've, check got it out. A, you've got an implant, Bonnie. You don't feel it? Well, it. I've had other um, physical issues because of retaliation in my community. So I've been dealing with a lot of physical things and doing exercise and stretching and stuff and just doing my best to do one thing at a time because I don't want to get overwhelmed. So no, I don't, I don't know. You do have an implant. I did get a sharp pain earlier in my left side. Everything happens on my left side for whatever reason, but I know it's I can relate relate to that. I can relate to that because everything happened on my left side. Well, what I was given during meditation was it, it was the feminine side. And right. yeah. then the right side is the one that gets the, what I call the sympathy pains. And that's been spot on. So, um, however, what I've been asking for, I have received, which is, you know, when I say resources, I ask the higher power what I need. Cause sometimes I can't be objective. And with Duke, my focus has been on him. Yeah. Why are you crying? Duke is fine. Release. I, Duke I think fine. it's my release. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You're holding stuff in. Yeah. But I want you to recognize it for what it is. Because there's a, there should be no sorrow for your dog. Your dog's fine. You were more worried. You had anxiety thinking that there was something wrong when there was nothing wrong. I, yeah. And trying to isolate because I've had um, clearings of womb and trauma. And, ha- you know, stretching my hip area um, and well, my back. Yeah. Because I, well, that's where the implant is, is in your back. Yeah. I've been, I felt like my wings were expanding and it got painful. So I was really focusing on that. And I, I, you know. Do you want me to remove the implant fill or are you going to um, research? It's a strange one, actually. Uh huh. And yes, I do want to know only because. Um, in February I had, um, well, I knew something was wrong then prior to that in July, I had something happen that I couldn't understand. And then in February I got, um, a major, I guess you call it entity or whatever, but it was higher than an archon. 
energy removed and I've been, you know, healing my physical body because it really just physically wiped me out. And I was all, I could not, it, it took, how like did you know it was higher? So, how did you know it was higher than an archon? Um, well, the, it, it felt, and I don't know much about it, but I kept getting this feeling. I just want to let you know, I, I just want to know, I want to let you know that um, it was a trickster energy and it was trying to intimidate you. That's all it was. Archons okay. don't, archons do not come. They don't lower, they don't lower themselves to try and do this work. They have minions to do that work. Archons don't do this work. They have, well, that's a, yeah, they, they have little peons. They don't do it. Common in the power <laughs> yeah. sector. Yeah. Minions do all the work. They don't, they don't come down and do any, they don't do that. <laughs> I appreciate everything that's been said today because it's something that I had a knowing of, but I kept getting, well, like you said, it, it, it's the deliberate now, confusion. Now, now Philip will see, can see art go down and go down into the area where archons are, see this. Archangels can see the archons, but you and I in our four dimensional will not come across archons, peons, but not archons. <laughs> peons. <laughs> Like very, it. very, it's very rare you see them. Yeah. And some of them can shape you. <laughs> uh, it was a trip to energy employed by the good old Orion constellation. I knew, so, I knew it was there. <laughs> I, didn't want I was to saying, it. I was saying it's not, not connected to her. It's not connected to her. It's not connected to her. I don't want it connected to her. <laughs> so I, um, uh, I, I didn't want to say anything to you. You can remove it now because, uh, Another battle just came. I have so many battles. Yeah. Uh, on Orion. Uh, trickster employed by a, a mercenary. Mercenary. Orion is where the reptilians and all reptilians that. and the argons. Yeah. And so it was, yeah. And Moloch, you know, the head of all the satanic headquarters are. So that's basically, so it was a peon. Did, did it? <laughs> well, they, they can be quite persuasive. Uh, I know really top healers that channel uh, angels, and they're not angels, they're tricksters. Tricksters are very, very cunning. Yes, they are. Hmm? <laughs> what? Is there a way to shield yourself from oh, that? Because oh, I yes. thought I was doing that, but. No, no, you haven't. Any, you, it's all clear now. It's just got through. That's all. Uh, well, I felt bit... cool air and tickling along my back. That was the implant. That was the battle. <laughs> because the implant's still connected to the source and the battle is going on in the source, you'll feel the energy coming back from the battle. So, I'm not That's a, a good like thing, that. right? It's a good thing. It's saying that there's a big battle going on. <laughs> <laughs> we've won anyway that battle another one we've won it. well that's um, what i thought yeah back in july i thought that we had you, won you that. had you had you got yeah, rid of that's... the trickster got rid of the trickster you can get rid of the implant connected to orion so orion's the employer of the trickster that implanted the implant or sorted the implant out you got rid of the middleman but it's already connected it gets quite complex um, did you know that you're rascals did hmm? you know that, did you know that you were from the fairy realm the elemental realm yes i did and um i have a great story to tell it was six about five months ago when i was walking duke um i actually flew and thank god i had my the leash in my hand because i was like whoa this was different it was wow. fun but then reality hit and I'm going, oh, no. And I had to get myself to my elder tree to climb back down. And it was like three days inside the house that I was I had to come back to Earth. And I had no clue how to do any of that. But it was fun. I can tell you that that part was fun. Yeah, yeah. yeah. you are. You are actually a fairy. Yeah. Hence my uh, I think Phil's already seen my. Uh, whatever you call I can't think what it's called. And I know technology, but I can't think what it's called. My little picture profile picture on Facebook. Cause I've known that for a while and I've actually spun up just walking down the street. And See, going, I've never seen, you, I've never seen you before. <laughs> I just, <laughs> just saw all that. I, I call them wow moments. You know, when you, you, something happens, it is, 
in normal reality is no sense to it. It's a wow moment for you. I, so I've it, had it's amazing a science experience. Yeah, I've had, yeah. It's great yeah. when you get them. Yeah. I turned into a pixie one day in my car, so maybe we should uh, swap uh, stories. Okay. Daphne, that, that would that, be great. Because, I mean, I just had one yesterday while talking to a neighbor, mm -hmm. and I was having a conversation with a dragonfly. Oh, beautiful. I'd love to hear your stories. Daphne, is that what you said to the policeman when you crashed the car? <laughs> turned into a pixie. <laughs> ah, <laughs> No, I, I drove, and I, and I didn't crash the car. And I, I did, and he I'm gave joking. me a ticket. Oh, I, I'm not. I, I did tell him what was happening, and he gave me a super speeder ticket, and I wasn't speeding. Yeah, a lot of them are quite dark. Uh, uh, I'll figure out how to fix it, but. <laughs> <laughs> well, your uh, energy went through your crown and did a healing on you, so you should feel a lot better. Grateful. Thank you, guys. You know what you can do, uh, every, anyone can do this, I've, I've shown it, you can actually grow a violet flame flower into your structure of your building and you just create it in an energy ball and then you just put it in the structure, program it to protect the own and uh, anything that comes through transmutes dark to light. I've been using the violet flame because interchangeably it i get more of um i hope i'm pronouncing this correctly lady amethyst mm. and zachiel uh, mm, yeah so hey. it, it's been interesting because that apparently is when necessary i mean i fast and furious these last two years of learning all kinds of different things about who i am so it's been mm. amazing um, my, my aspects uh saint germain and he created the violet flame from sorcery. So what we say, he, he did it from source. No, he created it from the magic spark. That's what he's told me anyway. So he well, created that's because it. he's Merlin. He was Merlin too. Yeah, he's Merlin too. So Merlin <laughs> and Saint Germain are saying. Uh, and when you say that, because I get the purple and white together, and that's the ley line I'm on, uh, uh, where I live. Mm. That's why I'm trying to get to the North Carolina mountains, because that's where I'm supposed to... Um, meet my fairy home oh and it's a good one that i haven't been able to do anything because obviously because i got too caught up in anxiety yeah but the relief that this whole session has been has been amazing great all right it's time to uh, move on who is next no tell me stop oh that's right <laughs> another card i keep forgetting about the cards uh, so the environment okay was okay. It was just me yeah. physically yes. that. Yes. Okay. Oh, good. Thank you. Yes. Celebration <laughs> again. <laughs> yes, I've been getting that and and my heart home. Yeah. Because of my compassion. Hey, dance girl. So, so your change is coming. Yes. Coming. Yeah. Okay. Good. I sent you a message in the chat, Bonnie. I got that. And I was I was writing it down as fast as I could. Okay. Mm -hmm. Always have my notebook. Excellent. Thank you, Bonnie. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, Lily. Okay, the next one is Soulful Guitarist. Ernestine. <laughs> yes. Ernest. -ne. Ernestine, like Christine. Ernestine. Ernestine, Ernestine or Ernest. -ne. Ernestine. I-N-E. Oh, she forgot the I in her name on there. Or you ran, <laughs> you ran out of space? <laughs> that was oops. <laughs> Thank it's you. Ernestine. <laughs> yeah, no wonder she was struggling. <laughs> I just was like, what? Yeah. You forgot the eye. There, we there go. it is. Crack it. It's cracked it. <laughs> oh, we all need a laugh. I'm sorry, that was funny. Oh, I'm raising my vibration. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Rick is scanning you now. Maybe he should scan me. Maybe I've got an implant of the giggles. <laughs> He's laughing at me. Okay. I need a drink of water. You cracked me up, Ernestine. <laughs> that face you made. <laughs> Oh, oh, Ernestine, you made your portals. You did. 
Did you know that? You made your portals. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I see them. Right, the right where you're sitting. <laughs> Mm -hmm. And one outside on your pet on your uh, deck. Cool. Ah, is yeah. that where the birds are, or the bird feeders are? Yes. Okay. Where so she sits, where she sits and watches uh, her birds. Right. Okay, I that's where it. your joy is. Your mm -hmm. portals are where you have joy. Mm -hmm. Mm hmm. Your power. She made them. Mm -hmm. So there. I'll just take this. Yep. Right where that chair is. Bird feeders that are up there. Beautiful. Yeah, a lot of good stuff since the last time we've seen you. You know, Ernestine, I just did a, a card because I do just advice and it says you need more music in your life. <laughs> I don't know how that's possible. <laughs> <laughs> more frequency. It might be frequency, actually. It might be a different frequency. I didn't think of that. Oh. It might be and worth doing a change in the frequency. Hmm? I think just that because every single song that I do play whatever is in its own frequency. Hmm. But today I could feel there's something I'm, yeah, there, there's definitely a shift. I can feel it. Hmm. I was told by um, someone that I should sing in light language. And I went, you're crazy. <laughs> no, I'm I'm getting salsa for you. Salsa what? music. Salsa music. Salsa. Mm. Need a little shake it up a little bit. Mm. Ah. Salsa mm -hmm. music is fun. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I wanted to say as well, my father-in-law listens to music and he thought it was brilliant. It was your, and he's, he's a guitar player. So there you go. <laughs> wow. Thank you. Uh, you love, he loved listening to it. It's it's music. How you play it, how we play now, we just pluck, don't we? But you do the the old old type. He loved it. Yeah, yeah. Cool. There's um something going on in the back of your neck. Is your back of your neck bothering you? Yeah. It's almost like a tension there. So I just want you to try and relax. <laughs> you may feel some energy there. Now you may feel it going down your spine. Now. Almost like a warmth, like a massage, like warm water going down your back, across your shoulders, and down your arms. Now across your hips, and down your legs. Now into your throat, and down into your chest area here. This warmth, just into the muscles and the tendons. Just relax. <laughs> How's that feel? Feels better. Yeah, I found a lot of stiffness in your neck. It's just come over to. Me. Even when I was playing earlier, I found myself just rigid. I could say mm. not really the other word, just really mm. tight in my whole upper body, mm. which affects my hands. You've been pushing yourself a lot to play the guitar. Just relax, take some time, and sit outside and listen to songs. Relax your neck, your shoulders, and your arms, and do some breathing, and just be. Not even thinking about anything, just be. That's what I want to do. Mm -hmm. Just be, and remember to put your hand, to relax yourself, put your hand over your heart, breathe it in, and get that energy going. So it's relax. Oh, I feel it much better, much, much better than when I look, first looked at you. Ooh. Yeah. You have some empath in you and you carry other people's burdens. They come to you, they talk to you. You've got to release it. you got to release it. It's not <laughs> yours. Do you know how you can release it? I don't think you've ever thought about this. When you're playing the guitar, you can code it to release it. You can link it. There you go. You can link I get it. it. Yep. If, if you ever want to get rid of, if you want to clear so you can use the guitar. Or you can eat using the guitar. Yeah. You just got intentions to program your intentions, what you need it to do. So instead mm -hmm. of you getting the information, you're now programming the information into the music. Mm -hmm. and <clears throat> releasing it with love know. releasing it all with love mm. yeah yeah it makes sense because that's one place i can i know how to move the energy right? yeah. and i'm more conscientious about it and just everything you're saying feel yeah just that and um i'm very proud to say this you guys don't know this yet 
and go back to the studio this Tuesday and Thursday for five hour sessions, each one to record two new albums. That's fantastic. Congratulations. Thank you. I couldn't happen to a better person. Happy for you. <laughs> thank you. I'm so happy for you. Yeah, thank you. I'm 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 pinch myself sometimes just to go because of what I get to do. Just like what you know, why witness you guys with what the magic you guys do and it's just, you know. You're yeah. doing what you're supposed to be doing. It's in the future, yeah, joy. Yeah, in the future you could have an album, a spiritual album. And you could have one song for healing. You have a song to release trauma, but yep. that's a future event. You think about that. Yeah, no, it, it's that's because what I'm being guided to do as well is to yeah. record two um, healing songs for that intention and possibly put guided to it, guided, meta, you know, guidance, rephrase that, guidance into that. Because I also do like the spoken word sometimes <clears throat> with the new music. It just happened like an opening the heart. What you could do is send a message where you channel the information that I want you to give me the information to heal. Yep. <laughs> so you're, you're, you're giving the instruction of what you want the energy to do. You're doing it now. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Third pot. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. Perfect. <laughs> yeah. You're going to give her a cod? Yeah. I, I, gave a, I gave a change. Of three I'll call minutes. you back in two minutes, okay? okay. That's a friend of mine. Sorry. Uh, just, just pick <laughs> yes. a card. Is that yes or stop? <laughs> stop. Uh, I mean, I'll give you two. There's two cards. Uh, I don't know which one it is. Surrender and release. <laughs> <laughs> they go together. Divine guidance. <laughs> that, 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 is, that does go together actually so uh, I think you know what, what this means so your prayers are being answered by universal law that's uni that's divine guidance uh, and surrender and release is basically stop hanging on you to your worries let them all go by, by universal law excellent card right. thank you thank you're you. welcome oh. Lily Okay, we have the last one, Maggie. Hello, everyone. Hello, and Maggie. Just one, one sec, we've got Janine afterwards to clear the house. I forgot to do that one. Okay. No problem. Yeah. Okay, Maggie? Maggie. No, um, Maggie was, we'll do Janine after Maggie? Yeah. Okay. No, we do Maggie first and then Janine. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, okay. Okay. All right, I'm confused. All right, Janine. Where's my Jenny? Or Maggie. Yeah. <laughs> I'm confused. Who's Maggie? Maggie. Maggie, then Janine? Maggie first. Yeah, Maggie yeah. first. Okay. Someone just tell me where to point to. <laughs> All right. Okay. Hi, Maggie. There we go. Hi. Hi. Nice to see you all. I you have too, missed sweetie. you a lot, but I couldn't join the other times. Thank you so much for having me. You having dreams, Maggie? Yes, quite this strange. I I wake up sometimes and I have no idea. I I dream like I am like climbing mountains, but like in in like in Nepal, and this is a very high. I I don't know, very high, and I look down. I am afraid to fall, but I have to to keep going. And I dream with people that I never saw in my life and all new situations. And I really don't know what to do with it. I have very confused nights uh, the last two weeks, especially. I am also doing some kind of work on myself, like shadow work and all these things. I don't know if this has to do with it. Why do you think you have to do shadow work? <laughs> I don't know. I like to do anything that that bring me something different. Well, this is a question I'm not asking. Father wants to know why. What makes you think you have shadow work to do? Uh, because let's say I'm feeling okay now. Uh, I am calm. I am more. How can I say myself? 
but my situation didn't change much. Um, okay, but you're you're but you're losing patience. So you you're because your situation hasn't changed. Yet you think you have shadow work to do. Uh, I I think that can be some blocks somehow from somewhere. I don't know. That doesn't belong to me. I don't know why. So you're because... buying. You're buying into a, a, there. There must be something wrong with me because my situation hasn't changed. Yes, this is how I think. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You can beat me bad because I- it's my fault because my situation hasn't changed. Maybe you're where you're supposed to be right now because the world around you is a mess and we don't want you to move right now because there's nowhere safe to put you. Uh, Deb, Maggie might be doing shadow work on the earth. <laughs> Pardon? <laughs> all, all the other people. No, I think that and dreams are to do with your, your other aspects. I think you need to connect to them. Yeah. Well, um, I I already spoke to my higher self, to, to the universe, and I say, okay, I accept to stay here. If I'm not supposed to move to nowhere, I don't take any action. I let you guide me, but please just change something in this. Show me how to change this situation that I don't have to worry how can be tomorrow. And I... The last months, I really learned to let it go, and I am feeling better, and I can see that this slowly something like not really changing, but uh, I see a little light somehow. But I, I am, I am feeling lost, uh, to be honest, because I don't know. And I have some digestion problem. My right breast was making me some worry for three weeks. And I did it some um, water program. I programmed the water I'm drinking. And I am doing some work with a uh, violet flame. I hope that everything is fine. You do the work with what you eat. What I eat. Uh, you bless it. Yes, I do feel, but uh, at the moment, the problem is that here in Malta, we don't get uh, very good food. That anything, I try to live now eating only vegetable practically, practically but um, everything here I eat, I get a belly, like I am pregnant nine months. I don't know why. I have no idea where this comes from because I just use natural things. I don't like nothing a uh, conserve i don't i don't eat nothing conserve i eat mostly only vegetable and i cook myself for myself but anything i eat i feel bad i don't know why where do they get their vegetables here in malta they cannot plant many things because the soil here is stones and then uh yeah come from all over but you don't see nothing here that is good quality and i don't eat I don't like conserve or nothing. nothing. Well, if you get so your, also, if, 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 do you know if, what countries it comes from? Well, they come from Italy. From well, anything from countries. Italy is good because they don't spray with Roundup. They don't spray with chemicals. But if it comes from France or from Greece or from any other places, they spray with chemicals. Yeah, actually, they come from all over the world, but also yes. from Italy. Yeah, yeah. Well, Italy doesn't spray with chemicals. That's the only safe vegetables. Oh, thank God. I will, I will ask for now. That's the one that's safe for you. That's I'm letting you know. Okay. That's safe pasta, too. The pasta is very safe. Uh-huh. Okay. Their flour, this, you know, all their stuff from Italy, because that's where the Pope lives. That's where the, you know, the, the Jesuits are from. They, their food uh -huh. is safe there. Anywhere else, their food is sprayed. Does okay. make sense? Make sense? Yeah. And yeah. Deb, it, it tastes all right as well. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but the other countries all spray. What What you got to do, Maggie? You got. I think you need to get your power. Yeah, I think you need to get. I think you're still missing getting your power inside. Uh, I am still having this little, you know, that I, I try to connect and I say, okay, I know that I am connected, but why I cannot see anything? And but you uh, say, you say, I, 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 I know, I, I think I'm still connected. I, I know I'm still connected. I think 
you think you're no nobody's not connected there's not there's no way that you're not connected every breath you take you're connected no but, uh, but i i just i just explain in a way that i cannot explain better i mean when i when i meditate and i try to ask something and uh, uh, to find out something i can't see clear like uh, um to see like uh, uh, um how can I say, uh, I cannot get the vision that I say, this is the vision I am getting because it's the answer for my question. I, I, I can work only with my feeling. Do you understand what I mean? Yes, I that's fine. I work with my feeling, but, but yeah. I, I And there's nothing wrong with that. You can, everybody has different, different ways of, of getting these channeling. So if it's, yeah. if it's okay. with your feeling, that's fine. That's, that that's. Deb, some people dream, dream. Uh, have you yes. been dreaming lately? What have you been dreaming? I don't know. That's yeah, a vision. Yeah, crazy things. <laughs> That's a vision. Mm. But it's the quite dreams. confusing because when in the morning, I, I dreamed two nights uh, uh, before, I had a dream with a strange man and it was such a strange situation. And I, I, I was trying to, to, to free myself from him why, why, was, why didn't you try and read it? What was it about? What's the story? What's the sign? Uh, well, he was trying to have something with me, but I didn't like him. And I was trying to get away from him. Anyway, I went, he come next to me. And it was quite confusing. And I woke up, I had such a pain from my shoulder to my head. And I, I sat on the floor very quickly. And I, I was trying to release the energy, release, release, release. And after I was feeling that, I said, what is this? Because I don't know, I don't even think in men at the moment, uh, to be honest. So I don't know. How do you know he was not, not good for you? I didn't like anything from him. I didn't like it, his energy, how he looks like or... I don't know. It was like like he liked to abuse me or something like this. I didn't understood the dream. It was like vivid, but I cannot even describe exactly the situation. I just know that I woke up like I was reacting against something. A lucid dream. You know what that could be? You know what it could be? You've been trying to do shadow work. What if you opened one of your aspects that needed releasing and you actually created a scenario of releasing... All you have to do is ground it. So just by intent, you've been trying to do shadow work and then you have a dream like that. Yeah, it makes sense. Phil, I give you, I give you a really, really, a, I really say you, it can't be right because my, my problem is that my issue is that I, I don't understand everything. And I like to get the clear picture by myself, and I am not sure if this is the right interpretation. Yeah, what I'm saying is you're opening sh doors when you do shadow work. What if okay. you actually opened one and you get the shadow work to do and then you panic and you don't know what to do? When you do shadow work, you need to know what you're doing. Yeah. So it, all you have to do in that dream is ground that energy to earth by intent. That's all you have to do. But that's what happens when you think you need to do shadow work. The mind thinks you're doing it. You're opening doors that need work, and then you panic when it all happens. You don't need to do it all the time. Okay. So I'd say that was a, a release of a, a, a shadow work life. Okay. Because you were looking at, you were intent on doing it. Okay. I thought I have to do this very uh, as, as, no. as possible. No, no, oh, okay. no, you don't. No. Okay. Oh. No. <laughs> If you, need like to... To, if you need to do it, you'll get the signs to do it when your vibration is highly and correctly to do it. Okay. You don't just do it. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay. This is good to know. Well, energetically, I feel okay and I am quite happy about my energy because just these this little issues that I feel I felt in my body the last three weeks and I was a little bit worried but uh, if you say it's nothing I'd be happy and just grateful, grateful. Just, ground grateful. It. just ground it it's okay yeah it really you're because cause, I, it, it's I had causing one. all these all these I don't see anything um but you, it, all this 
shadow work is causing all this stress for you. Oh, okay. Because they, I had once this feeling in my breast, but it was just because of hormones. And now I don't take my hormones since six months. And I say, okay, I hope this is because of this reason. And I start to program my water, but this always takes time to change. But I, I am feeling, thank God, I, I, I am healthy. And the digestion problem is maybe because of the, the, the poison and the, and the food can be. Yeah, you can also um, use white vinegar and water and soak the vegetables. If, the, if you don't have an option for Italy um, mm-hmm. vegetables, just soak them in, to get all the um, residue on the outside of the, of the vegetables before you eat them. Um, to get this, the, the spray off of him. Yeah, that's why I try, because I love to eat also raw food, but I, I try to cook them to, to make it easy, but I, I don't think it's... What, what, what you could do is cook them, boil them for a bit, then drain it and then use fresh water. You clean, clean oh, okay. them. Oh, and then, okay. Or you could even peel them. Uh, you remember you got the power of the creator. Yeah, I am. I am uh, also before I eat. I try to neutralize the food from anything that can. And you, be- you have the power to do that too. But you, yeah. you know, you're washing your hands and washing the the food beforehand. Vinegar is very is it's so it's white vinegar is very very it's it's non toxic. It's great to wash uh-huh. with to wash your floors and and your food with before you eat it. It's just, it's very good um, antiseptic and everything. So it's, I mean, for food and cleaning, um, but I don't see anything on, on I, I, do you feel, I, I mean, I really no, don't. No. I, I, just, I, I, just, I just think by stepping into the shadow work without really a plan doesn't help you. And okay. if, you know, father's saying you, you, you uh, put too much pressure on yourself thinking it's you. Yeah. It's not you. I know. Yeah. Relax. I know. Relax. It's not you. Just say stop. Okay. Stop, Phil. Thank you. Okay. Thank you so much, Deb. God yeah. bless you. Yeah. Your... Please, Thank Father's you. saying to remember how perfect you are. In his eyes, yeah. you, you, you are perfect. What the card says is, you should be doing shadow work. (laughs) 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 Really? No, 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 no. Sorry, I I had to do that one. (laughs) Okay. This one, miracles. You think you need to perform a miracle. Ask Source to do it. Ask Source to do it for you. Yes. No, I I am... I am now uh, trusting that I am now living my new life in the new earth. I have nothing, nothing to do anymore with the matrix. I am here just, uh, just to observe everything. My, my place is in the new earth, living my new life and happy. Happy and healthy. That's it. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you so much from You're the bottom right, yeah. of my heart. Don't think that I forgot you guys because you guys are going to be rewarded. Believe me. My word is more, is more uh, uh, serious than a, pay, a signed paper. Believe me. Ma- Maggie, as long as you don't yeah. do our shadow work. <laughs> <laughs> I stay away from any place I see the name Shadow I, I go left or right I don't you do it, it. you do it when you're ready honestly it, it come, you, okay. you get the signs to do it okay yeah, you have to do it all the time okay I when I go to bed I even put the violet flame uh, light bubble on on my bed I say don't let anything come here because I don't want I don't need I am free and so instead, you start a shadow work, which is within. <laughs> so you got this bubble around you, and you're starting to work in there. There you go. Oh, never mind. Thank you so, so, so Thank much, you. so much for confirming everything. I love you all. Bless you all. And Thank have you. a Me wonderful too. night and a wonderful, blessed week. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Love you all. From the bottom of my heart, I miss it, you guys you. very much. We love you too. Thank you. Thank you so much. Bye. 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 Um, we have someone. Uh, some, sorry. We have Jillian. 
No, Jin- we've got to do uh, Jinin first. Jinin. 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 Okay, then after is Jillian. Okay. Here. The house. That was, about, that was a few hours ago. Wasn't it? <laughs> the, the kitty has been sleepy and I have to report to you. She's like so happy, sleepy. I've been That's checking wonderful. on Good. That's the best thing for her right now. Oh, I gotta take this out. Does <laughs> your sister live there? It's her home, just a squatter. There's something going on in her room. Is she awake? She should be sleeping. No, I mean spiritually awake. Sorry. (laughs) Does she have a Ouija board? You might change. You might feel a change of vibration. There's something going on in her sister's room. We have seen an old man here. She bought it new, but it's a modular home. But she has a lot of ex-husband's family. Just has all. She goes to a great deal of funerals just for friends. Oh, I, I don't know why I have a feeling there's a Ouija board somewhere. That's weird. I've never heard her speak of it, and we've spoken, and she knows not cool. She knows it would open something. And it, Deb, it might be, it might be some jewelry that's been turned into a Ouija board. It doesn't have to be the board, a portal. You know, one of them things can be a chair. It can be anything if it's been turned into one. Old, old jewelry is good. Her room. She has a shiffer robe <clears throat> that is from her ex-husband's family that's wicked old. It goes back. Only piece I know, creepy looking. Is there any p- pictures on her wall that have a pattern on it? Posters? What, what, what's the creepy thing again, Sorry. The creepy thing, did you say? Piece yeah, of furniture just... that you said that was creepy. Uh, it's a shiffer robe. Uh, like a wardrobe. Yeah, yeah. It's wicked old. Yeah, and- that could be definitely a, a TV board. Yeah, definitely. from the side and the bottom. Really yeah. old mirror on the front, and it just—I stay away from it when I clean her. Yeah. I does never- it? Do you? It does it have an energy about it? Yeah, I don't. Uh, I don't know at all. It's on the back of the mirror. Something on the back of the mirror. Yeah, it's been here forever. It's in her possession since she got with the family. Um, I don't know, early 80s. That's what it is. It's that, but it's something on the back of the mirror that I think it's almost, it's almost like it's, I can see it's that, that's what it is. I can see it. It it could be inside the mirror. Yeah. You know what I'm talking about, Phil? Mm -hmm. Cool. (laughs) Well, that's where these energies are coming from. And there's actually, they can come and go from that. It's like the wardrobe is a portal. Ooh, okay. So if I use like my Topican healing. No, you don't have to do anything. We're no, going to take we're, care we're, of it. We're, we're going to take care of it. <laughs> don't worry. I think I, I think someone's just been playing with it a long time ago. A bit like doing shadow work without the uh, clan. <laughs> <laughs> That's what someone did with the wardrobe. I Showing me a witch. Mm-hmm. So I got Narnia, witch in a wardrobe. I got Elraiser. <laughs> got what? El Razor. El Razor. Not exactly like that, but it reminds me something like that. And then I got there's a I saw a witch, and then I saw some guy from a movie. I don't I see I don't watch scary movies. Yeah, El Razor probably. Oh, is that it? <laughs> Might be. He has a hat. No, no, no. Uh, that's um. No, I did him. <laughs> and rotten teeth or pointy teeth. And pointy nose kind of thing. Um, yeah. 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 Oh, I'm trying to think of his name. It's not John Kruger, is it? Yes, no. that's it. That's it. Yeah. Some Kruger guy. Yeah, yeah. Freddy Kruger. That's yeah. it. That's See, it. I've never seen that movie, so I've mm-hmm. only seen him mentioned. Yeah, I think it's all dark stuff. Either it was used with it or the reflection caught it. The mirror, might I call it. Mm-hmm. Uh, yes, clear now. I use my crystal ball, like Jumanji. All the energy went into my crystal ball. Yay. I, I put a binding thing on it as well, so I can't use it again. So I have to bind it back. So. I think that may be what's uh, making the birds nuts. The... Definitely. Okay. Mm. Uh, I thought they were adjusting okay, and then the last few weeks, they're just like 
even my bird looks acting like the other one. You should you should feel a, a difference in the house, and the, the birds should feel definite dif difference in the house. <sighs> when he was working, every antenna on my body went up, and all I could hear was nothingness, zero space in a helmet. Yeah. And as soon as he put his ball down, it went away. <laughs> uh, yeah. And she's on the other end of the. It, this just it didn't just clear. It's cleared any anything in the house actually. So it all got sucked in like Jumanji. I'll have to leave that in the moon. <laughs> I don't want it in my house. <laughs> no, I clear that. That's him. I could never imagine, but um, I'm so grateful. To you. I just heard from my brother-in-law because she's the same cold. I gave my mother, and my mother gave her. And she has these little test kits. So she tested herself and all our kids next door. And they all have the vid. So they're all panicked now and sequestering themselves away. Because <laughs> they're worried mom and I will get in and die. So what else? What else? I was going to make this no matter what. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Oh, do you want a card? A card or not? Um, I got a really good card recently. Yeah, but you, you, you've now had all that work done. Uh -oh. Card is to determine what the work's like. Yeah, I'm still... Yes, I would like a card. I'm going to say stop. Yeah. Uh, divine timing. Uh, yeah. Pretty good card, I <laughs> Yeah, yes. so your prayers are being answered by universal law. Thank you. <laughs> you guys rock. Thank you. Thank you. Do you, you know, Deb, I've got an event in an hour and five minutes. I might just get a drink in between. <laughs> so long, Deb. Right, who's next then? Thanks, Janine. Jillian. Hi, how are you? <laughs> Great. Okay, so Phil, I'd was, I want to share something funny with you. Uh, thank you for your work in the uh, implant facility where you snuck off. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> like I wanted to share this because this is funny um, that you mentioned that... Uh, David's event distracted them. <laughs> so when I showed uh, my Stargate, it was actually a decoy Stargate in my backyard. And um, <laughs> in, in the middle of it, there was a trampoline. <laughs> so anything that went go through it would bounce through and get shot back out. And then Buddha was down here watching. And then I had a toboggan sled ready so that they could get shipped, off, shipped back off. The they got to go. So it's funny because I didn't say any of that. And I wasn't sure why I shared any of this. And that it made sense. So thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. No, fine. Yeah. If, if, if you always got to speak what what's in your mind. Yeah. I didn't know why. I was like, why would you say that? Now you're going to get like, like all the controller factories and like entities and everything were probably packing their, their bags and like, oh, Jillian's got a Stargate, you know, express route. And then I'm just like, why did I say that rookie mistake? But then I was, but then when you said it, it distracted them, I was like, ha ha. <laughs> that is why it was a prop piece for that but yeah Ooh. so Ooh. thank you for doing that um and i have two more triangles to report um i have one on my wrist my veins are turning triangle now um I don't know that means. all right um, like right here i'm not sure if you can see it it's like in my veins if you can see it we will have to do take a photograph and send it Okay. And then there's one like down on my hip, but that it's not that kind of video, if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I should pull my pants down, but it was like a birthmark I had all my life and it was roundish, but now it's like really triangle. But I think I know kind of what that's all about. Um, and then uh, I'm just asking for healing once again, or like, I don't know if we're supposed to ask because that brings attention to the implants or like, I don't know if asking is going to get me 10 more implants or admitting the, uh, the decoy Stargate is going to get me more, but who cares? But, um, or maybe we do need to bring the implants to the surface to say, uh, maybe they need healed or say, I forgive them. Or maybe, um, maybe I, I could teach them how to, um, be energetic themselves. I don't know. Or maybe I'm not supposed to say anything, but it's too late for that. I've done everything I could try to do. Um, I'm kind of sick of it. Um, or maybe I'm a prime provider of the energy free siphoners network. I don't know <laughs> if, if they sit there with siphons over me. I don't know what a siphon is, but whatever. But yeah, um, I'm just really getting uh, pretty much tortured and things come through my ear and back of my head. And uh, they have spikes and claws. And, you know, they. I was told, you know, ground the energy and it's going to get tough. But I didn't know I would be, uh, you know, tortured 
from the inside with bullshit. Um, and I mean, in my ear, it's like this, and I get it, haha, like this, like a bull thistle or like gelatin silica, like a Cassiopeia type entity thing. And you could see it. I mean, like it's, it's real. Uh, but I'm sick of being tortured for the past few years. And uh, yeah, it, I mean, like it's just a waste impl- of like implants and things at this point. And um, yeah. So you, uh, you, I, you, you see metal claw, a bit like Hellraiser. You have them yeah, sort of, like, I, yeah. <laughs> I, I do know it, someone else who was getting that. That's yeah, like my ear, I'll, I'll give you a close up if you want it. I mean, I don't know how disturbed you want to be, but I think you'll be fine. But like, it's still coming through like, uh, and then the back of my head is getting, we'll say, um, like, it was like this part healed. And I thank you. And then like, they were like, we can't let her heal. Let's give her everything we got. And then like, it's moved to the back of my head. But there's like, mm. and there's like, I'm just gonna call it goo bullshit that has literally spikes, needles, um, and it tries in claws and clen- and really does like clench my to the back of my head. Like I can send pictures or whatever, but like this shit's real. And yeah, um, yeah you don't have. I don't to. want this to be my life anymore. Or okay, or am I dead? Did I die and I'm still on the end of my DMT trip from death? And you guys are like helping me realize that like crossing over and leaving my body and go. <laughs> that means we all have to. Yeah. <laughs> and, and the 2012. Uh, philosophy of uh, mm-hmm. pro- uh of, those, of the world dying is true and we just yeah. didn't agree <laughs> but like did um, i really die and like i'm leaving my body and like because that works out for every theory but yeah and like my body's decaying i don't, I don't uh, know but it sucks just, and blessings to all and thank you just relax see what we can do do you ever get a vibration in your foot in my butt <laughs> yeah in the top part of your foot uh, between um, the joints kind of like um in the, a little in the middle of my back or like it feels like there'd be like a bug on my back but there's not but yeah it's like a vibration there's something in your foot in my what something in your foot trapping you i know i already said that i already said it would hi yeah. <laughs> but i mean like what do they want do they want me to flip out do they want me to cry do they want me to be silent like what i don't know what more i can do or not do or like do we need to talk to it and see like you know what is it? What is it like about me? And I, I'll teach them how to do it, or they could have a piece. Or uh, my energy is like eternal. Well, they want your energy, number one. And and mm-hmm. why would you want to comply? So that they could stop sending torture devices through my skin, and so that we, I don't know, I forgive them. Like, what, what are we doing here? You know what I, I mean? Like, and and make, hold on, make, hold, make, hold on a second. Did you ever realize that you're more powerful than them? Well, yeah, but there's nothing I can do about it. But keep keep shining. Mm. I'll teach them. I can teach them how. I don't know. No, no, no. Why would you want to teach them how? Maybe they need like like uh, help to grow the energy themselves. What is it about me that they're attracted to the energy? So you're not the only one this is happening to. So so stop oh, thinking I... that way. <laughs> yeah. Oh, <laughs> this, I'm real good is, at overthinking is, the shit out of all this. It, Jillian, this is this is this is the this is the mercenaries. And this is the last, this is their last shot. They yeah. want to be us. They have yeah. no shot in hell of being us. If they want to destroy us. They don't mm-hmm. want to just be us. They want us to go away. They want to take over. They're mm-hmm. not nice. They're not nice. They're not, a lot of them don't have souls. They're just mm-hmm. peons <clears throat> doing the work of the archons. Yeah. I, I mentioned this earlier. I don't know whether you were here. There, yeah. you know, a lot of them are are, are just robotic nothings. Mm-hmm. Yeah, following order, orders. That's it. So mm-hmm. again, how, you are, like, how do we find harmony are, and balance? With you are this? much more. There's yeah. no harmony with these people. There's no harmony. They don't want harmony. They want destruction. Mm-hmm. So there is no I love you and I forgive you. There mm-hmm. doesn't, <laughs> doesn't mean yeah. anything to them. Mm-hmm. You loving yourself more and is, is the most important thing. Mm-hmm. So don't get frustrated. Yeah. It's just, uh, uh, I do love myself. I love my life. I love creation, energy, you name it. Like, yes. uh, it's just hard to vibrate higher when uh, you're really being physical hurt, physically hurt for the past few years all the time. I know. I know. Yeah. The, the implants are gone and the, the beings that are messing you about are gone. 
Yell no, Jillian. No. Mm -hmm. Don't give acceptance. Stand in your power. Yell no. Go yeah. away. I'm transmuting you. Yeah. I've done this like so many times, all the time. Well, you have to do it not in your head, but you have to do it from your heart. You I do it in, a, you. in the shower. I do it outside. I do it. On do you do it from right here? Here. here? Do you do it from your brain saying, go away? Or do you go yeah, into yeah, your yeah. heart? Do you go into your heart and go into your power source and do it from there? Because if you're I, shouting I it from your brain, it doesn't do anything. You have to do it from your loving heart and taking mm -hmm. in your power, your power, not your brain power. Because the brain doesn't mm -hmm. do anything. Do you understand what I'm saying? You have yeah, to. Yeah, I do. And, I've tried all the polarities of this. It's just. Uh, all right, I'll give them the award. They got the award for best, you know, you know, best implants and all that shit. So they can go. You can go. They Thank go. You. They're Bye. gone. They're destroyed. But well, we have got really track of it. We didn't. We it was hidden. So that's good. Yeah. While they've gone, go in with your power. Take care of them. I don't, like the power is the part that got me like like tortured. It's it's a weird thing. I don't know. Your power yeah. got you tortured because you didn't go further. So I'll still do it. I'll still be me, but like it kind of sucks. I, I don't know how to deal with that. Yeah, say stop. That's how you deal with it. <laughs> For your card? <laughs> yeah. I don't need a card, but I need the whole deck and I'm going to donate it to you. Because I got enough. One. Just pick one. All right, stop. Yeah. What was it? I like how you selectively it's, pick the card that fits you. <laughs> it, it's children. I don't. No, it's not you having children. Only your inner child and have more fun. Oh, I do. I would love to. It's just the, yeah, it's just like. It's, well, you're not under it. If you, I'd love to, but. Mm. It's just the the pain, like it's physical torture, but I trust me, well, I have If you I could fun. connect to your inner child and have fun, fun energy is high vibration. Yep. Isn't it? It'd probably get rid of it. But I, 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 have, I have, but remember, we've just sorted all that out. Mm hmm. So now you can play because you shouldn't be told. Truth. Yeah. Turn it around, honey. Thank you. you can do it. You've got the power. All right. Just get the Thank needles you. and the claws and the bullshit goo crap out and let's go. Mm. Roar like a lion. Linus. Even though I'm, I might get in trouble for the for the um, decoy Stargate, but whatever. It was meant to. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think you will. Okay. <laughs> That's why I'm to I told Phil, so, but whatever. It was, if I do, it's worth it. <laughs> <laughs> no, you won't. You won't get in trouble. <laughs> genius. Just genius. But yeah, you're like, why did I do that? But now I know. But but thank no. you. You're welcome. You're welcome. All right. So everybody's off except for going back to Rose and I'm gonna say goodbye. Bye. Thank you. Thank you, Daphne. Thank you. Love you all. Love you all. I want to thank everybody for joining us today. Rose, you need to stay here. Uh and I thank Yes. Thank you. Yes. Okay, and I'll go also. Thank you very much. Nice to uh, remember everybody that uh, the month of July. Bye, everybody. The month Thank of July you, love and blessing taking, to everyone. Taking off. We won't be back until August. And I will.